Warming up, it's warming up. Come on, jazz hands, we're live. We are live. We are live with baby faces yawning and doing jazz hands. That's right. Walter, Walter's doing jazz hands. There Thank you go. We are live. I hope you got your big girl panties on. This is episode 247 of the Who Moved My Freedom. Keywords. <laughs> Who stole my podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> Who moved my freedom podcast? Coming to you live from the Strange Media Studios. And uh, it's free for all Monday. The uh, title of today's show is Social Media's Freedom Conflict. Based on the fact that um, we are not, as you can tell, we are not on Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded, which is the channel, the YouTube channel that we have specifically for the podcast because uh, we've previously gotten into trouble here on Hank Strange uh, with YouTube. <laughs> well, we, uh, <laughs> yes, apparently we've also gotten trouble, gotten in trouble on Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. So uh, we have been banned from from broadcasting live for three months. Oh, three wow. Months. wow. Yeah. That's yes. your first strike, isn't it? That's what you Yes, get, get. they've Three given us a strike. Months. If we get another strike, we'll be in even more trouble. But you know what get... that does? That three months gets you through the election on their thing, don't it? Oh, interesting. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Interesting, <laughs> point. interesting ah, point. That's why you keep me around. I think like that. <laughs> yes, Walter. The, that and that, Walter, and uh, the fact of the guns that you have, uh, the ammo, <laughs> the machines. <laughs> if I don't get selling some more stuff, I ain't going to have no ammo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, true, true. So, um, by the way, do you guys see this right oh, here? This yeah. sticker. This oh, sticker yeah. is here to remind me of who is helping us do this podcast. Yes, Franklin Armory, official sponsor of the Who Moved My Freedom podcast. Some more innocent victims. Specifically. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm one of them, too. <laughs> yeah. So that and many things going on. Baby face is here. There he goes. Uh, I hope you got some food. <laughs> oh, I ate. I'm good. That's oh, why okay. I'm running like. That's why I'm like right at seven when I got here. It's because I had to stuff something down my face real quick. Yeah, Babyface was just here. So thanks for everyone that's joining us in the chat. Let me start there. We're gonna get into what exactly happened um, with Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded and the video and all that kind of stuff. We'll get into it. Um, I want to thank everyone that's actually coming over here because I know uh, folks are used to going to to the other channel. So thank you to everyone who's out there watching this right now, all the folks in the chat, all the people that have uh, been uh, voicing their support of what we do in freedom and the second amendment and the first amendment and you know all those awesome things. Thanks so much to everyone who's here. Thanks to Babyface P for showing up. There he goes. And of course, so, Walter. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna open by telling you guys, I've decided uh, every time somebody wants to know what, what uh, BDU does, I pulled up a corporate BS generator and I'm gonna generate a line. Okay. If you wanna know, if you wanna know what, what BDU does right now, we uh, professionally deploy world-class core comp uh, competencies. So there you go. You have some kind of generator for that. We also uh, seamlessly mesh fully tested web readiness and uh, interactively deploy flexible alignments. So there you go. <laughs> uh, we're hot in the industry right now. <laughs> Walter, look at Walter's face. <laughs> What is happening? Does you, not you, compute. You, you went to the dark side, baby face. You went to the dark side. <laughs> does not compute. Does not compute. Yes. Yeah, so. Well, I, I'm not an. I'm not, first thing, I'm not an, like an acronym kind of guy. You know, um, especially if you don't know what the hell the acronym is, and some people are sprouting out acronyms, you're like going, ah, what are you talking about? You know. <laughs> yeah. But, but. That's what babyface is called bath woman bullshit. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, and he has a generator for that. A bath bullshit generator? <laughs> yeah. That's what, that's where he just got that from. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. I think you might have know. Uh, Hank Strange, the reason he got kicked off of YouTube is because he distinctively uh, exploits backwards compatible e markets. <laughs> <laughs> I say that to me again. Yeah, <laughs> all the all the uh, the moderators or whatever from YouTube, like, what is going on? Uh, yeah, they can't they can't pull us down if they don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, this, this face here, that's the that's the that's the um, from um, Men in Black, the Big Roach. <laughs> yeah, Edgar. That that Edgar. was a, Edgar something in an Edgar yeah. suit. This yeah. movie, you know. This movie, you know. Walter. I just watched it the other night. It was on again. Oh, oh, okay. 
I, th- I yeah. think that's just someone in an ego suit. Who was that girl uh, that was in worked in the morgue? What was her name? Oh, I forgot her name. She's like smacked uh, the the roach. Was she yeah, she one? had like a whole queen of the dam thing going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let me go through this real quick and shout out everyone. I see Gunstreamer in the chat. Shout out to Gunstreamer. I suggest all you guys ask Gunstreamer when the hell he's gonna get the live up and running because <laughs> we gonna need it soon. Soonish. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. There goes the scallywag. It's neck bone. <laughs> The that's right. Neckbone. That's 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 his that's his internet name is Neckbone. <laughs> that's right. He's got to have a pseudo name. He can't yeah. put out his his full name, and otherwise people will stalk him. Otherwise known as Neckbone. Yes. I should make uh, a I should make an Instagram for him and just call it like hashtag yeah. Neckbone. Yeah, he's a full blooded <laughs> pirate dog. <laughs> yeah. So. Faces of Neckbone. <laughs> Faces of Neckbone. <laughs> Um, so let me uh, let me shout out the folks in the chat real quick before we get into everything that happened here. So shout out to E Rock, Special K, The Archangel, Christopher Williams, Richard Hughes, James Lawson, Ridge Runner, STL Storm Spotter, SoCal Gunner, Boss Hog, Armament and Axis. Shout out to all those guys. Ghetto Ghetto up in here. Shout out to him. Uh, let's see who else we got. Um, Trying to scroll down here, and let's see, let's see who do we have in here? Who do we? Who do we have? What do we have? Uh, got, Simpson Road, Larry. Go ahead. What's that? I got uh, I got kicked off of YouTube. I mean, off of uh, eBay again for for saying the wrong, putting the wrong word in the description of one of these stocks. Yeah. What? Walter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. We need, we need, we need like um, our own things for everything, man. You know. You know, we need a place where we can go and sell things where you can actually call it what it really is and what it fits on. Yeah. Where, where, you know, if you, if, you use, if you use the word AR-15 or you oh. say brace, brace is a bad word on eBay. If you is say brace, really? I reposted this and I put brace in my description three days off. Three what? days off. Wow. Yeah. 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 Brace. It's, it's Did brace. Do they have rules against gun braces or something? Yeah. Yes. You can't sell gun parts on there. No, you can, but you can't say what it really fits on. <laughs> what? No, so yeah. you can you should put- sell. You should sell like a, a a fifty cal shell or something like that, and it comes with a free pistol brace. <laughs> no, yeah. you can call this an SB Tactical SB three blah blah blah, but um, you can't you can't say what it fits on, and you can't say that it, it is a brace. That's ridiculous. Now I know this after two whaps on my pee pee. You know that's what. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. It's it's totally ridiculous. We need one ring to rule them all. One place that we can go to and yeah. do all the things that we need to do. We can we can buy and sell and trade stuff, and we can talk to each other. We yeah. can be entertained. We can get information. Yeah. You know, we just need one ring to rule them all. Babyface, make it so. Make it so. Uh, you know, I'll I'll get working right on that right now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, Chris Bullis as well. Thank you to Chris Bullis. Uh, let me see who else is in here. I think I said Armament and Axes. Let me see. Uh, the Tyvin Show. Shout out to the Tyvin Show for being here. Uh, let's see who else we got. Uh, Rob Avis as well. Key Askey also in here. Tango Hunter in here as well. John Dieter. Let's see. DC2 Mega Boost. James Miller, Andrew Dalton, Moobut. Moobut is in the building. Mm. CB is here. RTS guy, opt out of gun control as well. So this is, this, this is for RTS guy. He said, uh, there you go, less, less baby face, more, more neck bone. Oh, <laughs> oh he really yeah. hates those. Yeah, I <laughs> oh, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. Do you want those things to get destroyed? <laughs> <laughs> People, you know, that's like a thing that people say to me all the time. Why don't you put air and protection on your dog? Oh, he doesn't give a shit. Dogs <laughs> don't like airing, airing no. protection. <laughs> that dog, like let me tell you what Hank's dog does. If he's loose when you're shooting, you start shooting, he runs toward where the bullets are going. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's like the psycho. No, he's, he's a gun he's dog. He's a hunting dog. Is what he yeah, is. He's a hunting dog. Yeah, that's what he's supposed to do. They were bred to do that. I believe. Well, retrieve, genetic- yeah, to retrieve. Yes. Yeah, yeah they were genetic memory because I never taught him how to do that. He just he gets mad if he sees me with a gun and he can't hang mm-hmm. out with me. Yep. <laughs> he's like, he's the same way. If I take 
if I try to go out back with the with the bow and shoot some arrows, he goes nuts if I close the door on him. And if I let him out, he goes and grabs the whole target by the shaft of the arrow and drags it back to me. Yeah, he tries to like grab it and rip it out and bring it back to me. Yeah, that's what that's what the dogs are supposed to do. So mm. there you go. Uh, let's see who else we got in here. Bricks is in here. D Seeple's in here. Rodney Brady. Shout out to them. Um, let's see. Red Bear. Oh, Brian Shout Cook out. says that Neckbone has more hair than Babyface. Oh, it's true. Look at that. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> it was a dog. He's supposed to have more hair. <laughs> when he starts rubbing the hair off of his butt, then you know he's getting old. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know. Charles Holschuth also in here. Uh, let's see who else we've got. Um, Mika also. Mika says, Presente. Christian Gress says, Hey to everyone. Um, let's see who else we got in here. Tactical Division One as well. Shout out to Tactical Division, Jay Brennan, uh, Brian Quick that you guys mentioned, uh, Andrew Dalton Ray, Danny Cashier, Big Dick Willie. Big Dick shout, Willie. Shout out to Big Dick Willie. Um, hopefully we get away with that. That is a real person who is in the chat. <laughs> Just FYI. Uh, please, everyone, hit the thumbs ups, okay, and the like, you, yeah. the like as well. We appreciate that. Christopher Boyne says, uh, glad to see you're on. At least you have backup channel. Maybe you should start another channel with new IP just in case. <laughs> uh, makes sense. <laughs> We've got a B channel, C channel, a D channel, and an E channel. <laughs> uh, for it's, it's like it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work keeping up with all those things. Danny uh, Cheshire is here. David G. Uh, let's see. Um, is it too early for Gorn? No, never too early for Gorn. I see Vanessa Kitty. What is this? What is this? What you got? AR-180. Ooh. What? When did you get an AR-180? I've had an AR-180 for years. Oh, I had no idea. Oh, my God. I never brought it out with you guys? Nope. No. I've never seen it. No. no. Okay. There's a whole bunch of guns we haven't gotten to shoot. I've got some some Sig made 223 mags, and it's got the same kind of slot. An AR-180 has an interesting mag catch. It's just a, I don't know if you can see that right there. It's just a slot. Uh -huh. um, and it looks like the Sig mag has the same. It also has a place for an AR mag, but it also has hmm. a slot. Will it work? Let's see if it. Holy crap! It works in. Well, maybe. Oh. It works in the AR-180. Oh, we got to put some lead through it. Yeah, we have to try that shit out in person. Yeah, yep, yep. So let's see who else we got in here. Uh, like I said, uh, Gunstreamer's in here. Shout out. I'm not sure who that is from Gunstreamer, if it's Austin or who else it is over there. So shout out to uh, those guys, though, for sure. Gorillas and Guns is in here. Magnum Boys. Um, Elizabeth at Thierry Perry Perry Perry? I don't know. Uh, I didn't get that one right for sure. Jerry Woodman. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Hooty Who. Matt Morse. Uh, Adam Smith 86. That is uh, very cool. Yeah. Shout out oh God, to all Somebody said the word. What? The Archangel. Hank Strange, your thoughts on the new Scorpion Evil bullpup? Oh, I saw that. I, saw, I did see something about that. Yes, we got to look that up. Oh God! Well, we will. Oh, it's, still, it's made out of plastic. Um, I think I saw um, Gun Funny Chick talking about it. Is it a kit? I I don't know. I'll have to look it up. I saw I saw that they threw up a picture because I think um, there's I don't know if it's a kit or not. I'll look it up. Cool. Well, I'll it look it up and like see it what's going on. Be a kit. Yeah. So okay. Let's see. I think we covered everyone. If we miss someone, let me know. I'll shout you out um, and and see what's going on here. So we've got St. Dick. We've got Big Dick Willie and St. Dick all in here Big Dick at the Willie. same time. Yeah, shout it looks like CZ, CZ gives you the kit, You are you, but you can buy the kit from CZ. Oh, interesting. Walter? Kind of cool. We're going to have to get that. <laughs> We're going to have to get that bulb up. What? That mag? That... The CZ one, yeah. I think I'd take that po new Polish one over the CZ one. Oh, uh, well, okay. If we can get it, if we can get it. So, okay, we'll talk about that here in a second. We'll definitely jump into that. Um, you know, we'll, we'll pretty cool look at that as well. Yeah, we absolutely will talk about it in a second, babyface. I'm, I'm talking you. about it now. Oh, gosh. Okay, you want to talk about it now? 
<laughs> no, whatever you get to talk about, let's do it. Yeah, let's get into what happened first. So if anyone has any questions, uh, let us know what questions you have. Basically, I'm going to run it down. I believe it was episode 168, The Goddess in Trouble. I'm not going to say the title of the episode because obviously there's a bot that goes through and pulls things out and does all this kind of stuff. We were talking about some news that came out from the ATF. So, I, I mean, I've published about this on all oh, the platforms. Pulp -ups? Well, I mean, uh, 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 yes, um, uh huh, Walter. Slide fire stuff or not slide fire? But yeah, yeah, slide, yeah. yeah, good enough, good enough. <laughs> yeah. So the thing is, we were talking about this news. This was six months ago. I think this was even before YouTube came out and came up with all new uh, rules. Regardless of that, every video that we put up gets um, put up for review. Every single video. So that video came up for review. It was reviewed. It got okayed. Everything was all good. We didn't hear anything about it again. And then I believe Friday evening, Lolo was telling me that the video, something happened and the video was deleted. And then I asked her, I said, well, did we get a strike or something for it? And she said, no, but uh, the video was deleted. So then over on, on Sunday, Sunday morning, we got notification that then they looked at it. They looked at it and they were like, yeah, we deleted the video and we're also giving you a strike. You know, so in that video, all we were doing was just talking about news, proposed rule changes from the ATF, things that they want to do that affect us. And we were discussing it. We didn't show anything that is against, you know, we didn't do anything that I believe is against uh, YouTube's terms of service, but they can constantly change it. That's the thing. And then they make it retroactive. So... <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, under those circumstances, they can just keep changing it and then you won't be able to have any videos live on, on the platform at all. So, hmm. yeah, it's a, it's a real problem that they don't grandfather anything. So you can have a 10,000 long video library in your history. And the second <laughs> they change something, you have to go through and look at all 10,000 of those and make sure you don't break a rule in any. Oh, yeah. Which so, is crazy. Right. Now, if you get one strike. They basically, you know, you get three strikes and then you're out. The first strike, they kill live. So mm -hmm. that's basically what happened on the other channel. We have no access to live for three months. So three months, no access to live from that channel. Um, so what we decided to do here is switch back to this YouTube channel. We switched over to Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded to make it specifically for the Who Moved My Freedom podcast, right? We wanted to try to like separate things out. I know the podcast is long, it's two hours long, not everyone wants to see that. So I, and on Hank Strange itself on this channel, we do regular videos. So we do regular gun videos and then I do car videos and tech watches, things like that, things that I'm into. And then over there we were doing that, but we've got to bounce back over here right now because otherwise we can't go live for three months. Mm, so, so although Walter would be happy, happy to actually eat <laughs> in peace, <laughs> I could probably uh, in, in three months time uh, build some more machine guns. Oh, that's <laughs> true. That's true. That's what we need. Yeah. More yeah. machine guns. YouTube, yeah. more machine guns. So that's what you do. Take me off YouTube. Watch what happens. I'm going to build more machine guns. All right. You got it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So what is that? What is, what is that noise? Yeah. Something on something on the Instagrams. Sorry. Oh, yeah. So there you Instagram go. That's ladies. Yeah. No, so that's that, was, that was a dude. It's. Uh, <laughs> you you're looking at dudes working out. No. Now, well, I get. That? Like, okay. Because of that stuff that you turned me on to, the uh, you know building my numbers. I didn't turn you on to dudes working out. No, the numbers increased in thing. You know they they. Oh oh oh. Yeah oh. yeah. That's that's okay. how I get a lot of the, uh, the the females on there too. You know so. Um, oh okay. So here's the post that I put. Well, I don't know if you guys can even see that. I don't know. There we go. I saw. Boom. It. That's the post that I put up about it with the thing that we got. So, um, I you know. This is what we have going on. I think we're going to get more of this. I think that, um, you know, basically this is just thought control right now that we're dealing with. So, you know how it goes. They don't want us here talking about this. As Walter, I think, Walter, you're right. I think we'll probably see a ramp up of this towards the election. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, let's talk about uh, the Judge Kavanaugh. Let's see how fast we get turned off tonight. 
Oh my goodness. Walter Walter's on a suicide mission. Walter's well, going you know, kamikaze. <laughs> you know, what we could talk about so what do you think about that? What do you think about that's the whole Judge Kavanaugh? Bull. That's a bunch of bullshit. It's a typical democratic last second Hail Mary. Oh, uh, he raped somebody. And she don't know she couldn't she couldn't tell you nothing about it, but she he she got raped. Did you see the who the lawyer was for the whole uh, the typical, to the typical dem lawyer that mm -hmm. always pops up in these situations mm -hmm. screams, screams bloody murder defends all the male dems that they get all brought up on charges but then when it's somebody else they're like they're guilty you know? yep. so i think it's I, I i don't think they understand the people in charge now are not going to roll over and go belly up because if that would have been bush or somebody else he would have said okay judge kavanaugh you need to Step aside. Let's get somebody else. But I think Trump says, I think they had a little meeting at the White House and Trump Bobby said, you're sticking it out, Hoss. <laughs> you're, you're sticking yeah, well, does what? Did Ka Kavanaugh indicate that he doesn't want to do it? Because anyone that goes up, you know, that tries no, to. No, no, he's, he's denying he's denying it all, which yeah. he should because it's character assassination. Yeah, you anyone know? that anyone that goes up is going to get um, it's going to get the hit same with something routine. Like this. It's the same yeah. thing. Well, he's terrible. He's 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 Satan. Da, 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 da. And then they have their last when they when they when they when their typical stuff doesn't work, they do the Hail Mary at the end. But you ought to do is you ought to intercept that Hail Mary and shove it right up there. Um, you yeah. know, and that's what they should do. They should play hardball. Some of these other congressmen, like my son was saying today, need to come out and say this is bullshit. Just like that. This is crap. This is more same crap you guys do every time. Come on, get a life. And bring yeah. this woman. Up. Bring this woman. Up. Let's talk to her in public. She she doesn't want to. She doesn't want to testify in public. She wants to have a secret. Yeah, well, no. I think she was named. I think she was officially. Finally, yes. Oh, yeah, she was named. She's just another typical leftist nut nut job. Yeah. So I think somebody was saying that she was one of these ones running around with the vagina outfits in the protest too, or something. You know, oh, where they really? put the they put the vagina on their head or something. I don't know okay. if that's true, but I thought I heard that. So yeah, she's a typical uh -uh. leftist. Yeah, I who's don't know been, about that. Who's been us, you know, the typical victim. They gotta drag the victims out, you know. So like 60 other women that have con that, that worked with him have come out and said, This guy's cool, you know, there's nothing wrong with him. You and think how long ago were these charges? Uh this happened like when he was 17. Yeah. Okay. He's like that's this this was like in 1980 or 81 or something like that. She's a professor. She's, She's a now a professor in school. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they were in high school back in the eighties. So this is yes. back in the eighties. Right. Okay. There's a lot of holes in her story that she can't, you know. Obviously, she, she doesn't know where it happened or what time it happened. Yeah, nothing. Or when it happened. Nothing. Nothing. But she's a nothing. Victim. She's but a she knows it happened. Yeah, yeah. I think you know what she had. She she got abducted by aliens and it happened in the spaceship. They probed I mean, her. <laughs> that's what yeah. aliens do. <laughs> that's everybody gets probed in the spaceship. That's right. We all know what aliens do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't think I think they think they're just gonna roll over and quit, but I, I don't think it's gonna happen this time and they're gonna shove it right back up there uh back at them. So, you know. Bring the woman out. Let everybody mm -hmm. see her. Let her testify in public. This this interrogate her. Like they interrogated him. See how long she lasts. You know, I'm all for yeah, this. I'm, I'm tired. No I'm, I'm tired of every everybody can accuse everybody of everything, but when it comes time to, you know, everybody's a victim. Everybody's got a story, and they're a victim, and they've been this and been that. But when it comes time to to show your cards, there's no cards to show. Yep. You know, yeah. And well, for if you're a guy, you're automatically guilty you here. Yeah. Guilty. There's nothing oh. you can do here. I think. Um. I think it's really tough out there for guys right now, man. I think it's really tough. I think. I think lots of if if you're a, a single guy out there, this got to be a tough world for you to live in. Well, you know. You know. I mean, just think about it. You could you could be sitting there, and all of a sudden, Hank Strange, you're like. You're, you're, you're like a new media mogul, right? And all of a sudden, there's going to be these bitches that show up from 1982 that say you raped her. And it's like, mm. oh, you don't even remember who this woman is. Maybe yeah. maybe she's when bad. I was 10 years old. Maybe. Well, whatever. Maybe maybe you maybe you. It's possible. You, know, you ever have a girl that likes you, but you don't like her back and she gets pissed off about it? Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, nothing worse than a woman scorned. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tough thing. It's a tough thing. As a guy, you're pretty much in a, in a situation where you can't win. So it's a weapon that can be used on any man at any time, and it's okay. Right. Um, and we don't see I, what this, 
this Me Too thing where they pull out this Me Too garbage and they start screaming and hollering. And the Me Too screaming and hollers are the worst ones. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously we've seen that. We've seen that. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, multiple times yeah. here in that whole and all these yeah. groups. So, and these people all run in the same pack. So uh, once I I'll always say follow the money. Somebody's financing this female's um, um, perch, her, uh, her current activities are being financed by somebody. Follow the money. It'll, it'll take you right back to the typical suspects. Yeah, it's it's just tough out there for a guy. It's it's pretty. Uh, that's the thing that bothers me the most, man, as someone who is the father of two young men having to live out there in the world. And oh. I know the type mm -hmm. of crap that they're dealing with all the time. It's, uh, you know, it's pretty terrible. And I think that it's also going to be terrible for women in lots of different ways, you know. Well, and we're yeah, creating this environment that dudes, I don't know, man, because, you know, first of all, uh, <laughs> the option that immediately springs to mind is not an option. <laughs> Thank well, goodness for porn. That's all I can say. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you no. know, but uh, I'm not going the other route. So, uh, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is like a really crazy thing that's happening I, to the world right now. I think it's gone way too far. So. I think you know, I remember there's okay, there's nutty guys out there, but there's a lot of nutty chicks out there too that just. We can see it. They're the ones out protesting with vaginas on our heads. Yeah. You know? Well, I mean, this woman, this woman is a this woman is a college professor, man. That don't I mean, mean nothing. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying to you is, I don't think that something happened to her and just totally torpedoed her life, and her life got flushed down the drain. Well, she has a PhD from the University of Southern California. I mean, well, well, there, well anyways, you just you just you just said it all right there. I know, I know, and I'll, I'm also saying to you that it, it, you know, at the uh, same time of not saying that that it's well, impossible now, that something happened to her, it's obvious it's obvious that whatever happened to her did not destroy her life. Right, direct, right, right. You know, yes, yes. yes. Um, yeah, to a point yeah. where it was irretrievable. No. So, and I don't know what happened to her. We don't know. We don't know. Some, we don't, something could have happened to her. It could have happened with, with, we don't know who, who had anything to do with it. There's all kinds of things going on here. And it's been, you know, the eighties were 40 years ago. Um, almost, it just, right? it just, it's always very convenient at this certain times, you know, that they just appear. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, look at the ones that appeared for Trump. And then they disappeared soon as soon as yeah. The but hasn't Diane Feinstein been sitting on this for the last several months? I'm pretty sure I, I read that somewhere that she's been sitting. Well, on yeah, because while. because all her other games didn't work. So now mm -hmm. let's try the last. Let's try the Trump card. <laughs> yeah, you think they bring this out? <clears throat> if this was a major concern that he's like some sort of diddler, they you think they bring it out like right at the beginning? Say, oh, this guy's a this guy's a pervert. We need to ultimately, watch out. ultimately, there'd this, be other women. Yeah, what they what they want to do here, and this is the reason, this is my whole reason for voting for Trump. I would like to see some some conservative people that believe in the Constitution, specifically the First, Second Amendment, and other amendments out there that have to that that guarantee our freedom. Our freedom is like we you have freedom just by existing, but there has to be things that guarantee it. And anyone who's going to uphold that on the Supreme Court is going to be torn down in one way or another. And pretty much that's what we're looking at here. They're going to do every single thing they possibly can to not see this guy, you know, get on the Supreme Court or anyone, anyone of his ilk. So that's what we're, that's what we're dealing with. Feeling very threatened by him. Yeah. You know, so um, that's, yeah, that's a pretty crazy story right there. But I'm kind of like not surprised by it. No. Like I'm you're not saying. Either. Yeah. So, well, okay. You know, it's yeah. a typical. It's, yeah, it's it, how they it, get down. It, it's very, uh, it's the old school game plan that they always do. Nothing new. Yeah. Um, so you can't, also, if, go ahead. Yeah, I was just, last point I was going to say is you can't turn public opinion by facts. You have to come up with something else. And I don't think public opinion will be swayed by this. I really don't. I don't think so either. I don't, people, have, people know the antics already and they know that they do the same thing. Like I said before, the same questions at every confirmation hearing. Abortion, guns, um, yeah. you know, everything else. I'm scared. You're, you're making me scared. And then, you know, it's the same thing all over and over and over, you know. So. 
And there's a lot of stuff, even in the FBI probe right now, from what I was reading. I'm trying to pull it up, but... Uh, a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, but even in the FBI probe, I was reading some articles that said that they didn't have anything there. There isn't anything. Yeah, mm-hmm. they didn't have anything. Even the, the stork and his girlfriend... Yeah. They, you know, they, they testified they there's it. nothing there. Yeah. So why does it continue on? Yeah. I, I think you're going to find after the election it's going to stop. Oh, yeah. No, no, it will. It's going to stop because he's going to turn it off. He can do yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. So I see we've got some new people joining us. Razor JB is in here as well. He's not new, but, you know, Mike Bryant is also here. I carry my revolver in single action. Shout out to all those guys just coming in now. Um, so let's see here. What else guys, do we have? You want? Do you want to talk about this bullpup? Uh, well, it's, I was going to talk about another CZ first. Okay, which, you which see the, CZ? Uh, this is as a – wow, this is old. This is old news. So you guys may have talked about this yesterday or last week. 308, 308. Yeah, the 308, the Bren 2. You already, already talked about this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, it, looks, it looks like a, a scar-ish thing, but it no, looks it, cool. It looks like a Bren 805 except just bigger. Yeah, I like yeah. it. I think it looks neat. Right. Yeah. I would well, own you know. them. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So, By so the way – Oh, wait. Do you have an 805 on you? Here's an 805. Okay, let me put a magazine in it. Get a little proportion. Yeah, so yeah just pretty, this, stretch it out, and you've yeah, got it. Pretty it. Does, it pretty well looks like an eight hundred five. Yeah. yeah, you're right. That needs a uh, that needs a brace. Can we say brace on this channel now? We can say <laughs> brace, right? We're not eBay. Who knows? Well, man. it's on it's on the list of things to do. It's on the list of things to do. <laughs> Speaking of braces, um, in the shop right now, we are working on um, CZ parts. But aside from that, we're working on um, replacement. Sig brace rods and tail hook adapters. So basically, if you Ooh. want to put a you want to put a tail hook on a Sig brace, basically just remove the rods, slide our new rod assembly in, and you'll have um, you can put your tail hook on. Ooh, that sounds cool. Okay, interesting, interesting. Yeah. Did you that. see? Uh, did you see your guys got knocked out of the running for the new for the government contract? Who did? U.S. Army yeah. selects six companies. For Let's share that with Walter. Oh, I didn't see it. Is that on yeah. Truth About Guns? Or the, uh, yeah, hold on. on. I'll, put it up. I'll put it in our chat for you, Walter, so you can take a look yeah, at it. Um, okay. So the guys that made it are Angst at Arms, BNT USA, Global Ordnance, Shield Arms, Six Hour, and Trident Rifles. Uh, the MP5 clones from Zenith and PTR got knocked out. Okay. Oh, can, I make, can I make a prediction oh, right that's now? That's not good for me. So, but anyways. Six well, Hours, is that what you're going to say? No, mm-mm. I wow. think the army is going to go for the B and T because it's the most expensive. Really, though, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> not good for me. <laughs> That's what no, I think is going to wind up happening here. They're going to wind up going for the B and T or something like that. Maybe, right. maybe Walter. I mean, so does that mean that those things could just go into uh, regular rotation right now? Or was that all that stuff on hold that you were working on? Can it go forward? Oh, yeah, everything's going to go forward. Nothing gets put on hold. Yeah, right the people. Let me tell you the one thing, and I know that lots of people. Um, you know, lots of people out there want to get the government government contracts. I think the civilian market is where it's at. Okay, so can I can I make a prediction? Sure. No, B and T is not going to get it. No. You know who's going to get it? Who? Sig. Sig. That's what I said. Yes, Sig 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 because they picked a rattler. Yep. And they bought the other Sig rifle, the full size yep. rifle. Yep. So they're they're going to go with the modularity and the parts. This. And they're going to Our money's going to go to a Swedish company. <laughs> also, Sig has already, um, like, obviously, Sig has come up with the best hookers in Blow well, in the universe. So, I mean, the, my my feeling on the whole thing is they knew who they wanted before they did it. It sure, sounds probably. like it, yeah, yeah. That much makes like, sense. Much like with the Rattler, that was already that was pre-selected. They just have to technically go out and put the requirement out. They knew it. They knew the Rattler existed. Yeah. But they got to yeah. make it look like they're looking at other things, and they pick the rattler. Yeah, Razor JB says, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, Army will go with Sig, mark my that's, words. That's what I said, yeah. I believe um, it, too, but I think just as just to be, like, a contrarian, I think they're going to go for the B&T mm-hmm. because you know, if, if it's not your money, why not get the most expensive? Um, if, they went, if they went with something like the Angst at Arms, no. they would have a lot of parts compatibility with the M4s that are already in because it uses – the same lower parts kits, the same stocks. Well, but we can't make it that easy. We have to have arms. I'm looking at the picture they had in there, and it looks like the stock, the, the stock doesn't fold. Mm-hmm. Was that a requirement having a folding stock? They had a 15 inch length requirement. Well, they must so, have come up with something then. So yeah, I don't know what the deal is, and uh, why I mean, that? I'm guessing Inkstad came out with something that's secrets-ish. I mean, technically, there. the the MPX doesn't. I don't think. 
at what they're showing there, it'd be very hard to make 15 inches. It'd be real. They probably they, again, they probably shorten it like you guys did. Yeah. Um, to make it work. Yeah. I think you're probably right, Walter. But I'm just gonna say B and T. Hey, I'm gonna throw. You're gonna go for the wild card. Yes. <laughs> I'm throwing okay. my I'm throwing my money behind Sig. Yep. Yeah. No, it makes Sig sense. Is, Sig is like the the. They got burned for the Beretta way back when, and now they're they're you know the favorite children to win everything. Well, I haven't I haven't been not I haven't been told anything from uh, from Zenith yet, so I'll have to talk to those guys tomorrow. Yeah. Um. You know, however, I still believe in the civilian mark. Oh, retail is oh, retail is yeah. the way to go. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the military contract breeds the breeds the civilian want. So. True. It's like NASCAR, right? Or, or NASCAR used to be back in the days. Yeah. People would right. look at that NASCAR race on the you weekend. Want a Super B after you see the Super B on the NASCAR track. Yeah. You know. You know what's funny is uh, so the, in that same vein, I uh, roll in special over the weekend. Um, and for anybody that's out there that doesn't know, a Roland special, it's basically it's a Glock 19, uh, RMR on top, a X300, Surefire X300 light, a KKM threaded barrel, and a KKM compensator on the front. Um, I shot one over the weekend, and I was like, it, it was kind of one of those things that I, I, when I heard about it in, in reading, I was like, yeah, this is kind of dumb. I don't think I would ever use it. Shot one over the weekend. Holy crap, are they cool. Because of the, the compensator on the front, they are the most flat shooting pistol I've ever handled. Uh, well, I mean, it was super cool. Say that again. I'm sorry. Which one was so it? It's, it's the Roland Roll Special. It's called a Roland Special. Yeah. They just uh, throw everything you could throw on a Glock. Basically, it's a Glock 19, so it's made to be okay. concealed. Yeah. Um, with an RMR, an X300, a threaded barrel, and a compensator on the front. Okay. Um, so overall length is the same as the 34s, which is what, I guess, the field operators used to use. Um, but now that we have RMRs, you don't need the, the sight radius for a 34. You drop an RMR and put a compensator, it's the same length, and you get the compensation. And it's actually really cool. I sort of want yes. I sort of want one. <laughs> <laughs> of want course I do. So what are yeah. you selling? What are you getting rid of to get one? Well, so I was thinking I should do it. Neckbone. I should, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> no, don't He's get just, more. That'll never happen. I'll show you the eyes he gives me. You want to be sold? You, you want to be sold? <laughs> He's like nervous looking. He has a little nervous tail. Got the tail, the tail's going. <laughs> um, I was thinking I could roll in special the M and P two point oh. Okay. So put a put an RMR, a threaded barrel, and comp it, and then uh, I already have the holster that will fit the roll in special. So I, I maybe I'll just do that. We don't know. We'll see. We'll okay. see what everybody else says. Um. So how many rounds did you put through that roll in special? Uh, two or three mags. Two or three mags. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's it's pretty cool. This is all you need on your Glock, right there. <laughs> That's all you need on your Glock. For oh, for Mike Bryant. You see your hand. You put your hand on your Glock. <laughs> That's what you need. <laughs> for, for Mike That's Bryant, it. says I need the T Rex Arms sidecar. I have a T Rex Arms Ragnarok. So Ragnarok for my M P. So I might roll in specialist. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe, maybe you throw up a light on there if you get real <laughs> frisky. Maybe, you know. Um, I don't throw a light on everything, but I think you know it's not not terrible, terrible thing to do. You know, when they're given to you for free, you might as well put it on there. Well, no, I think it depends on the use. What you're gonna, you know, what you're gonna use it for. But you know, always, I think, just always have your. I believe in personally in having your light separate, unless that is a specialized thing. So maybe you might have something at, at your bedside or something like that that you want to get up in the middle of the night and it has everything on it. I would still grab a flashlight. and I have flashlights and stuff like that as well as guns all by the bedside. So I, yeah, I normally, like this gun here, my rifle, I normally keep a flashlight on, but I do like having separate flashlights around the house for things as well. Yeah. Um, I need to buy some more. I'm, I only have, right now I have one flashlight that I use for like, all of my outdoor stuff. So, like taking the dog for a walk, I have a, a Surefire 6P that I use, and I need to get another. So, I'm going to have to yeah. get, I need to get, um, what's the company that uh, makes reasonable prices? The one that's on your flashlight or that's on your gun right now. Oh, you're talking Olight. about Olight? Oh. Olight. Yeah, I, I want to get an Olight, I think, next. Yeah. Um, the store is carrying Olight. Cause that's I know, how I, I know. that's I, how I came across Olight because um, I believe that our friend Jesse James. Um, took us over to the Olight booth at SHOT Show, and then we fell in love, and then Tony was standing there blinding everyone. 
with all the lights. Um, Razor JB says, save money and buy your rolling special parts on um, BDU. Yeah. <laughs> uh, BDU, BDU. Hold on, shit. Uh, I got to tell you guys what BDU does real quick. Hold on. Oh, Lord. Hold on. BDU, uh, we are, you know, we're officially impact seamless leadership. That's what, that's what we're good for. <laughs> Walter is like, what is happening? I don't know what's happening. I got to do the phase. I don't know yeah. what you're talking about. I don't know what's happening uh, right now. Uh, if you guys didn't hear, Walter's company, they uh, enthusiastically synergize inexpensive portals. Um, that actually kind of plays in. That sounds like the SHTF right That's there. That's what I used to do back in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I opened a lot of portals. <laughs> I, got, I got up in a lot of portals. <laughs> energetically. That's yeah. Awesome. Yeah. We were energetically up in every portal possible. Yeah. Okay. Fine. That was too Fine. Bad. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Also on the Firearm blog, let me throw this one up. I don't know if you guys, uh, Babyface, must, there, have, must have missed this. Mm -hmm. So I'll throw this up in the chat, Walter, so you can check that out okay. right now. Uh, let me see. Maybe I'll throw it here. I on did this see chat. that. I, I, haven't, I didn't read through it, though. Um, did it, did it go oh, into the chat? Who's doing that? Uh, American go. made replica of a 9x39 OTS 12. Yeah. So, um, so that's what I guess Wolf um, officially introduced the legendary nine by thirty nine millimeter Soviet Russian cartridge to the U.S. market. Is it Wolf that's doing this gun? Yeah, Wolf's see. bringing it in. Well, Wolf's bringing the Wolf's ammo. Bringing the ammo. This They're is bringing the ammo. Somebody. Yeah. Uh, da -da -da. Somebody it looks like they did a nine millimeter uh, barrel and then bought a nine by thirty nine. Yeah. Chamber uh, reamer from PT. yeah. It looks like KNS Precision. What is KNS Precision? Let me see here. Okay, K and S Precision, whatever that is. Never heard of it, but they do AK stuff. Oh my stuff. god! Yeah, so uh, Green Mountain Rifle Barrels, who makes they make really nice barrels, made prototype nine by thirty nine barrel blanks, gave them to whoever this was, and he got a he got Pacific Tool Engage to make oh, okay. a chamber reamer, chamber and reamer. then okay. finish reamed it himself. So this is if you wanted to go make this yourself. This would be a hell of an expensive project. I know somebody that made one actually. Really? Oh. Yeah. Um, he made it Very with cool. the the v, the check the check VZ fifty eight. Really? Okay. He made a yeah. nine by thirty nine out of it or into it? Yeah, Ch Troy at um at in range. If oh, somebody okay. if somebody could put this together, I would I buy an SBR for sure. Hmm. Yeah. Do you see a price on anything there? No. No. This is all handmade for himself. Yeah. Okay. This, isn't, this isn't put out full time. Okay. Actually, right now there's not enough. Probably, I don't think I don't know if the ammo is that available right now. I don't know. No, I've never seen it. I thought Wolf was going to bring it in, but I don't know if there actually are at the moment. I, yeah, I think they are, but yeah, I, I have yet to see it. It's hard to bring ammo in when you have no guns to shoot it. Plus yeah. the magazines, you got to find nine by thirty nine mags and shit if you know where to find that at. Well, yeah, somebody can make those, but yeah. Yeah, I see people. Uh, Michael Pro is calling for Gorn. I think some other people are doing it. I've got some really cool Gorn that oh. is related. That is Do related it. to Franklin Armory. Uh, imagine that. The Let's new the new sponsor of the podcast. The podcast okay, help keeping us that. around. And here's what I'm gonna do. Um, before I show you what I have, I'm yeah. gonna um, I'm gonna do something. So Franklin Armory sent me some swag. So I think we got like the the uh, the green. The black and then the uh, the tan patch here, as well as um, stickers. So what I think I'm gonna do is give like a sticker and a patch as a, as a combo kind of thing. And I've got three of them. So let's do this. I know not everyone's on Instagram, but we're just gonna do this today. You know, we'll, we'll do some other stuff in the future. But there is a post on Franklin Armory on Instagram. So anyone who has an Instagram, go to that post on Franklin Armory. Right now, like the post, comment, do um, hashtag who moved my freedom podcast on there. And uh, we're going to go in here in a second and choose three people and then give you like Franklin Armory sticker mm. and a Franklin Armory patch to everyone who does that. Swag so, day, yeah, we'll get we'll get you some swag on that on that one. Some swag. As as uh, Walter likes to say, so you guys, I know you guys are gearing up with your with your stuff. I got something in from Franklin Armory in this box. I'm gonna open it right now. Babyface already saw this when he came over here. 
It's all wrapped up in bubble wrap. Oh, God, this there thing goes is the bubble so wrap cool. right there on it. Got some. You put the bubble wrap back on this thing. Yes. <laughs> it's not Ooh. mine to open. <laughs> Here we go. I'm opening it up. Something nice is coming out of there. Boom. Boom. Let me guess what that is. Right there. Hold on. Let me see. I'm going to lock it on here so you guys can see it. Show so. us the good side. <laughs> Boom. Check yep. that out right there. That's the new logo. Get the logo closer. Get okay. Closer let's see in. how close can I get. Well, uh -huh. you know what? Let me um, – hold on. I have to put back on auto focus on the camera. Let's see if that does anything. Should focus. Uh, right there. I don't know if you guys can see. You should be able to see it right there. Moving that around. It's still focused on you, I think. Um, is it? So is yeah. it? Uh... Okay, hold on. I think I put it back on auto. Do you have any pictures of it up yet? That would be the easiest way. We could share that out. Okay, hold on. Let's see. There we go. There it is. That, look at that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I just focused it. Look yep. at that. Pretty at the moment. Look at that. It's so this so is a 308 cool. upper and lower from Franklin Armory. And um, this color, I think, I believe is like their champ champagne, champagne <laughs> kind of color. I don't know. I'm just calling it that right now. Champagne. Yeah. It's a nice, uh, it's really like a nice sand. I guess not really flat, dark earth. It's a little bit uh, lighter, dreamier than that. Yeah, Dream. you know, kind of like a matte, cool color. So we got to build a three hundred eight, dudes. What the? Yeah, three hundred eight is getting built up right why there. Why don't we build a six five Creedmoor? Oh, uh, that's true. Yeah, we could do that. We should do a six five instead. Yeah, that does make sense. Because you got some six five sitting behind you, don't you? Uh, yes. Oh yeah, I do. Plenty of six five actually. We should do some six six five is awesome. Bam. From Fort Scott, another one of our our overall sponsors of the show. So yeah, yeah. Three oh eight, Walter. I'm saying, come on. Um, we should no, put the no, vote. No, where's I'm, the, I'm, where's I'm, the I'm, 308? Where's the three oh eight? Um, we have one. Yeah, we have. Can we one. get it in this color? Can we color match? Oh, I don't know. Oh, so maybe. So then we got to we got to like maybe do some kind of stand out like red or something like that. Who makes well. Yeah, we can do any color you want it. Yeah, we could do a nice uh, fire truck. Ferrari red. I think this color in Ferrari red is going to be awesome. Look mm. at Babyface. He's loving it already. He thinks that's an awesome idea. Mm. I don't think we can fit a 338 Lapua Magnum into that size <laughs> of a... Sorry to tell you guys. <laughs> but... Oh, so what's so what's but, that? <laughs> but back up, back up. You could do that um, 9 by 39 but that really? that fits into an eight. That fits into a, a short frame, not a long. I mean, but that would easily fit an AR-10 mag. Yeah, yeah, but it'd be too short. <laughs> well, you want everything, don't you? We want a six <laughs> point Creedmoor. That's what we want. Yeah, you'd have to make a follower and all kinds of stuff, right? Hmm. Andrew yeah. Dalton says a fifty BMG AR. That's what needs to go in there. Okay. I don't know how, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's all on Walter. I just I'm found waiting. something. I just found oh. something else really interesting on the firing blog. Well, um, I'll put it in the chat in a second. Here. You can look at okay. it. Okay. All right. Cool. Got it out. Yeah. All right. So that's a future project we're all going to work on, Walter. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Just yep. So you know. Just so you know. I'm going to be. Re I'm going to be reassembling some. Um, some AR10s here shortly that I have all the parts sitting around my shop. Okay. Um, okay. I just. Okay, come on. So let's see. There, there was some yeah, other. We're coming up with are ridiculous. So, by the way, while Walter's looking that up, here I'm going to throw this up for you guys because this is fashion news that is hitting the headlines right now. Fashion I news. hope all the hipsters out there, hipsters are rejoicing right now all around the world because guess oh, what? Geez. Magpul has announced their new fall 2018 clothing line. Oh, Holy God. crap! <laughs> yeah, like the the clothing line is taking over more and more at Magpul, and it's horrible. <laughs> I know it's my. Ma I think Magpul's lost their mind. Their their logger t shirt, log t shirt, their logger long sleeve shirt, ninety dollars. Sweatshirt one twenty. Uh, reversible jacket with the logger style on the inside one sixty. Insulated yeah. jacket two hundred. The insulated jacket looks okay because I like simple lines and everything. I would like that. Yeah, but I mean, come on, man. Cool 
Yeah. They just make stuff for hipsters, man. They're I'm, becoming I'm really... a hipster AR company. Holy shit. Yeah, right? No, I'm looking at some stuff on the firearms blog. Oh. Oh. The, the, what, what is I, it? Can I, I posted a link. On? I posted a link. Just look at the dis look at the thing and then read the description of um Okay. Look, at the, look at the picture below the first picture. And, oh, I saw this. All that um, ammo and stuff. Yeah, but what's in the back room? Jesus Christ! Cheese and rice? <laughs> <laughs> what? How? <laughs> look at what's in the back room. What is it? Which picture are we looking at? The second. The second picture down with all the guns? Ha! Look at, did you read the quote underneath it? Oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh, I see. <laughs> Because that's not. No, it's not. Um, I can tell you that right now. And uh, um, he has, <laughs> hold on, I'll link but, it for everybody. But, we're being very cryptic. Yeah. Yeah. Now, show, yeah. Show everyone what we're talking about here, because. So the, I just linked it for you guys. Yeah. It's the second picture down on the left side. You'll see what we're talking about. <laughs> what I want to know is how is everyone in Brazil getting SHTF, and I can't. I still don't have one. <laughs> um, what is happening in the the world is upside down. But you see those poor armored trucks below the. Oh, they got torn up. The Brinks, the Brinks truck is torn up. Yeah. Then there's a Mercedes one. Um, These are all armored trucks, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. How? Yeah. So my my question is, how on earth do they get there? Well, because you can't smuggle that up your butt. <laughs> well. In this world we live in, you stick something in a container, you throw it. You, you yeah, just, not everything gets checked. Yeah, I mean, this this idea that every package gets looked at is is it's impossible. You can't look at every mm -hmm. package. So, um, gets put in containers, gets put put in boxes. Um, some of it gets humped across the border and gets humped all the way down there. You Jeez. know, in boats. You know, you know, it's how do all the drugs get here? Still, I uh, yeah. <laughs> you guys, uh, did you guys see the video? Again, you may have talked about it last week from the Utah Gun Exchange guys with the hidden cameras that they filmed of the drug smuggling. I oh, know. Um, Tell us about it. Tell us about it. it. Oh, the guys are all Facebook. armed coming across the border? Yeah, they posted it to Facebook. Um, and they, uh, I guess, this route that they put hidden cameras up on was a known like drug smuggling route across the border. Mm -hmm. And they catch guy. they have video of like guys with like big ass backpacks. Often drugs across the border, down that whole whole thing. It's crazy. Yeah, the border is very porous. I mean, you know, that's without a doubt. That's it's just, yeah. it's, you never, that's the part of the things that you like never see. The, well, I'm not saying the media doesn't want to show you that, but yeah, it's well, just not shown where yeah. they where, have video of guys. Where are the, where the, fam where are the families? Where's all the families and the children? Exactly. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, KS Harris wants us to do Emmy coverage live tonight. <laughs> tonight, <laughs> Emmy night. <laughs> um, you're in the um, wrong place. <laughs> just joking. Care Bear on the Holiday Rose says, "Evening, good evening, Stranger Holic." Shout outs right there. Um, oh, you see, they had a BAR too. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's a real gun. <laughs> yes. That's a real gun. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Cue all the jokes about the B. Uh, what is it? Yeah, there's some BAR jokes. Yeah, there are. There's a bunch of BAR jokes, which all slipped my mind right now. Oh. Unfortunately, what is, look at the little tiny one next to the so oh, in the same over. picture, yeah. like the fifth one over. Yeah, <laughs> what the <laughs> hell is that? An M14. I don't know how it works. Oh no, a Mini 14. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's not much you're going to do to stop it. Um, um, have you, uh, and, and this may be something you don't want to answer on video, but right. have you ever been asked about things that show up overseas? Not really. Huh. I mean, once again, I'm not doing anything. So. Yeah, obviously. I mean, once it goes out of the FFL's hands, you don't know what happens to it. Right. I mean, look at all the um, it look at those pictures. I mean, look at all look at all the ARs and the AKs. Yep. Let's remember that the um, that the former administration okayed guns going yes. across the border. Yeah. That, okay. That was, we've had we've had people on here talking about guns that go across the border. Remember? Yeah, Mike Deddy. Yeah. 
I mean, it was up Mike Teddy. You'll see what I'm talking about. Here, look at those. Look at the chopped off AK pistols there that they're showing. Those are not. Those, no, I, most of those were not made by those people down there. They were bought and, and smuggled in. Mm -hmm. Probably most yeah. of those are Century Arms guns. Yeah. So. Anyway. Yeah. Babyface Mystery Family put a, a BAR joke on there for you. You can read that. <laughs> Go look so, at the yeah, comment. What does the Nazi say when he walks into a bar? Nothing. Fuckers blown to hell. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of those jokes. People are always sending me those on Facebook. You know, What's so like he walks into the bar, nothing. Fuck your phone the hell. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, does any? Did you guys see the? Uh, have you ever watched videos of how BARs were used in World War One? Oh, with that, with the. They would. The, they the would belt? carry it in advance forward while firing from the hip. It was insane. Yeah, they had the they had the the belt with a pocket for the butt for the mm -hmm. butt pad. You put it in there and just walk and bum, yep. bum, 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 through pad. no man's land with your BAR. Yeah. So here, I'm gonna put this. This is a little bit off the uh, path of what we're talking about right now, but relative to one of the things that went down with uh, it's going down not just for me or for the channel that we're running. Um, but for lots of people here on social media and all that. So you guys, I'm going to read the headline. Uh, Facebook suspends hashtag walkaway founder over InfoWars link. So apparently you cannot link to anything on InfoWars oh. on Facebook. Mm. Founder of the walkaway movement, which Babyface explained who Brandon Straka is to us all. Uh, so he started the hashtag walkaway, which uh, I guess he was a lefty Democrat. And he got fed up with being a Democrat. And I'm not sure if he's conservative now, but he's left, says he left the Democratic Party and he started hashtag walk away. And a lot of people are, I mean, it's, it's mm -hmm. that's a as, threat. As much as people, as much as the media and left does not want to talk about it, it gained a lot of traction and is still moving through social media. That's a threat. Yeah. And more and more uh, people that were formerly Democrats are walking away. I walked away a long time ago from the Democratic well, Party, but switched officially in florida my affiliation this past uh primary a couple weeks ago so i i'm i'm i am a republican people i did the same what were you before democrat oh i was independent and yeah lola was an independent and it so she switched to a republican yep um because you can't because you if you if you choose independent you can't vote yeah i couldn't vote in the primary so i yeah. switched i won't be able to vote I, obviously i couldn't vote this primary but next time i will be able to vote for the republican primary yeah. So yeah. Um, so a lot of that is happening. So this guy, the so it says the founder of Walkaway Movement, ben Brandon Straka, received a 30 day ban from Facebook on <laughs> Wednesday after posting posting a link to his recent interview at right wing outlet Infowars. So you can't go to Infowars. You can't interview anyone there and you can't post a link to Infowars. Straka announced news of his banning on Twitter, posting screenshots as proof of his temporary suspension and notification on the offending post. It says, Facebook just banned me as I'm planning the hashtag walkaway march on Washington. I've been banned from posting leading up to the march. Now, somebody's saying in chat that this guy's, uh, he's gay. Not that it makes any difference, but I'm just. Um, that's, what they, that's what somebody said, yeah. Um, that's a, yeah that's a, go ahead. That's, a, that's another serious threat to the Dems. I think there's lots of people that realize that these guys are a, the what, what's happening right now with progressive liberals. They're a huge threat to freedom. AKA and that's gonna be, yeah, that's going to be freedom <laughs> for everyone, no matter where you come from in life. If you're black, you're white, you know, yeah, anywhere I, that you are on the rainbow. On that's the spectrum, another thing, you know, as soon as whatever you, it is. As soon as if, if you're of a, of a different color and you come out saying you like Trump, all of a sudden now you're every... They get called every name in the book, and you're no longer oh, yeah. black, and this, that, and the other. And it's like mm -hmm. that's a serious threat to those guys too, because yeah. you know. it is. It is. I've been through that, and the funny thing is, is like I want freedom. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to help people who look like me not go to jail unnecessarily. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm trying well, to I mean, help them not lose their freedom. I'm trying to help them be able to defend themselves. How can you? How can you say that like Trump is a fascist? And America's <laughs> in danger, but you're like, take away all the guns from the people and give yep. it to the government. Yep. The, and these people really know what a Nazi does no. to, the, to the opposition? Clearly, they don't. Uh, no. They wouldn't be around to talk about it. 
but and people so people understand this. Look, I did an event. Um, I think it was a couple of years ago at this point um, at, at Google headquarters in Atlanta. Yeah. And uh, when I was there, there were some because it was just a YouTuber thing and there were some gay YouTubers there. And we were talking about what I do because I had a case carved in my head and the YouTube <laughs> people were not like, uh, well, not I shouldn't. The YouTube people weren't happy about it. But there were some people in the security going into the building that were very not happy. Well, they were they threatened by your by your hairdo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, that's that shows yeah. you how. Um... <laughs> because like one lady in security, she saw the AK on one side of my head. She was like, "Oh no!" Then she walked to the other side of my head and said, "Vote for guns." And she was like, "Oh no, no, no!" <laughs> oh no, what? So what? So I was like, what? I was like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Is it gonna just like morph out of your? I don't know, but it, it bothered them. So everyone there obviously knew that I was, you know, into guns. And um, these guys that are that are gay and they're on YouTube, they were telling me that, look, they were like, hey, we all need guns, dude. Oh, yeah. Everyone. We all need guns to defend ourselves. Oh, yeah. So this is the problem, I think, that the left is dealing with. How can you tell people they're in danger, but tell them they're not allowed to defend themselves? How can you tell them that the government is against them, but the government should be the ones that have the guns? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, it does not make sense. You know, the logic doesn't make sense that Trump is uh, is completely against you, but let us have your guns so you can't protect yourself. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, I think what we have to do, there's obviously going to be more and more of this kind of stuff coming for, for people who are speaking sense and, um, you know, showing and proving to people that this has to do with freedom. So you're just going to see more of this kind of stuff happening. And I think like Walter said earlier, as we get closer and closer to elections, damn, it's going to ramp up. Yeah, I think more and more um, voices are going to get um, silenced, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. that's I mean, that's what's happening. Yeah. Um, and absolutely. for people for people that don't understand it, that it, I mean, that's literally what happened to Hank over the weekend. That, that it, Like there's no more blatant proof of it than that. <laughs> Yeah. Well, their thing is, I'm. We're reading the news and discussing the news, <laughs> and that yeah, apparently I didn't, I didn't, is a I didn't, I didn't make the news. You didn't make the news. We're just talking about the news. Yeah, we were not showing. We, there's nothing that we did that's against the terms of service, and we weren't showing. Uh, we weren't showing whatever it is they consider to be contraband. You weren't right? showing some CNN guy in the water up to his hips when it was only inches deep. <laughs> You weren't, yeah. you, you weren't somebody faking in the wind that they were like getting blown around and people are walking behind them like. Oh, how does that yeah. help anyone? I mean, really, how does that help anybody by by faking it like it's worse than it really is? Drama, drama. And that's it. That's what they're looking for. That's exactly right. Yeah. It's called dirty laundry. They're overly dramatic. I saw a report, uh, I think, on CBS where um, some some kind of debris flew by this guy. I guess it was. Um, like some kind of sheet metal off of a roof or something like oh that. Oh my which god, I, the roof is blowing off. Yeah, I know that could be dangerous, but they were like, oh my god, he could have been chopped in half. <laughs> you Did know? you see that my favorite guy, the, the redhead, long haired guy, whatever with the flag, he was back out again? No. No. I didn't, didn't see the guy he, in one of the other hurricanes, he was out in the storm with the flag and they're playing <laughs> Ted Nugent music when it when oh. they showed the video. <laughs> well, I know was, who you're talking about. Yeah, he I've was back that. out again in this storm doing the same thing again. They were like they, the, the news people were like freaking out. It's like, oh man, you're like out there naked and stuff. He goes, I'm not naked. Am I naked? I'll I mean, show you guys like, me from the last storm if I can find it. Human beings. He was he was on Fox News or something, you know. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, he's funny. It's good stuff. You know, the yes. world. I mean, uh, yes, people get hurt and people die and stuff like that. But but um, but here's the thing: if it's so dangerous, when they go out there, what the hell are they doing out there? <laughs> what are they doing? Why are they out there? Well, I don't know. You know, man. do we need to ban them going out in storms? <laughs> <laughs> Should we regulate this? <laughs> Should they have to go through some government bureaucracy to they go have out to file into a for storm? a permit to go out in the storm? <laughs> totally ridiculous. Yeah, um, well, Danny, I don't watch those. I don't watch those networks anyway, so I, 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 you know, it doesn't bother me any at all. So, yeah. I could care less. Yeah. So anyway, I, I know I think Babyface brought that one, that little tidbit to my attention. Yeah, I stopped watching the Weather Channel and all that stuff because first yeah. thing, all it is is nothing but ads, the whole time now. Especially, yeah. the, especially their online stuff. I can't or on the computer. You used to get the Weather Channel, get the weather. 
Now I got to go through all these freaking ads. It's like, nope, sorry. I don't need to know how green the world is or, or how bad the world's uh, global warming is killing the earth. And all right here, let's see if I can show this off without the okay. phone going crazy. This was me uh, during, and, and I think Guns and Gear posted a similar picture to this hurricane. This was me during the last hurricane that blew through and caused all sorts of mayhem here in Gainesville. <laughs> I was ready. I was going to go hurricane hunting. I was prepared to defend my house from a hurricane. That it's just makes your head look really, really big. <laughs> that's like a helicopter helmet. Yeah, yeah that's it a, it's a yeah. Vietnam helicopter helmet I got. Yeah. The chopper, baby face. Get to, Get the, to chopper. the chopper. You and Get Nick Bone, to the chopper, quick. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I mean... Yes, there are bad storms that are really there are storms that are really bad and and like I said, people have died in this one and I saw that place where the tree fell in the house and killed the wife and the baby. Oh god. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. bad stuff. Um part of the reason I don't have a big tree in front of my house anymore, because after one of those storms, my my wife finally got the clue after so many big trees fell on so many houses, it's like that's gonna be us if it blows hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Make it go away. That tree is all real. Oh, that poor tree. Oh, fuck that tree. Cut it down. <laughs> <laughs> Len Holt wants to know if there was any gun confiscation during this hurricane. I don't know. I don't know. I know. I watched the. I watched the people robbing the uh, or uh, looting at the uh, store that was it looked like it was right across the street from the projects. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, and then also, oh, Lola. Seriously, I can hear you back here. You didn't even close the door, woman. What's she doing, Lola? Is she singing? I don't know. She's talking to someone. Try so, oh, okay. Um, by the way, <laughs> by the way, let's see. Our firearms rack is in here. He said he just dropped dropped in to laugh at Babyface P for getting on the rolling train after all the hate. See, there's a difference between a dope rolling special and a stupid 19x. Totally different things. Okay. <laughs> and on that note, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> the feud is gonna start. <laughs> so, did, uh, did you guys see all the looting going on during the? During That's how the, the Dollar General looked like it was across yeah. the street from the. That the I project. just I wanted to say that they went and filmed across the street it? from like Section Eight housing. Yeah. Where there's a Dollar General. There's yeah. a, the reporter woman standing right in the front for me. She's like, man, I was thinking she's gonna get shot or something. Yes. I mean, you know, like it. what the hell? <laughs> By the way. um Okay, so Firearms Rack says 19x Roland is the ideal gun. <laughs> I'm gonna add probably to go probably to go training in. I don't like the grip. I hate the grip of the 19x. Yeah, yeah. I can't stand it. He would probably go training in that. That's a, that's, a, old, a, that's a reference to something from last week. Yeah, not a Reed Hendricks place, right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the grip. I don't the grip. So. I'm throwing at the grip. I don't like the 17 grip. I want the shorter grip. <laughs> Keep yeah. it simple. Just get a spring. That's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could yeah. do some damage. You just, you just grab, you know. Yeah. Grab are you making those, like Walter? Dog. When are we making these? I, I've them? thought about it a couple times in, in moments of like <laughs> before, when, with the thought of Hillary maybe getting elected, I was going to make these. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I don't know. It's a possibility. There's a, I always worry about some kid getting sent when whacking their eyeball out or something. Yeah. Oh. So, okay. Do you know how many BB guns are out there? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. But this this would probably could sell a shitload of these things if I made them. I don't know. It's, it's pretty cool. No. Oh, yeah. It's, it works well, man. I think so. Yeah. You know, you ballistic kind of stuff, man. Let's call it the ballistic ghost. <laughs> Is it made to launch any particular thing? Whatever you got in your hands, maybe a rock, maybe a ball of paper, a ping pong. Can ball. it launch? Can it launch poop? Can it launch? Put some. Put a little monkey fist on there. <laughs> you have to put a little, a little container for the poop. You know. Yeah, a little spork, a little spork on it. If you modify it with a spork, it's now a poop launcher. Whoa, whoa, we're talking about modifying. That's oh, a wait, oh, hold on a second. Hold on. <laughs> Increase the rate of fire. Yeah, yeah, that's dangerous here. I take it back. I take it back. <laughs> talk about Walt wanted to. Walter's going for the suicide. Hank's talking about modifying. Oof. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Gorillas and Guns wants to know what the uh what the what are the ATF regulations on that? <laughs> <laughs> Wolf Stonehenge yeah. says medieval uh, crap shooter. Yeah, right? yeah, Wolf, you're on. You're onto something there. Trust me. Yeah. Um, 
medieval crap shooter. <laughs> yeah. I think you can make your own special line of uh, liberal poop. You know, like liberal tears. Liberal make... poop. <laughs> but you have to like follow liberals around to gather that. Though? I don't know. I don't know. Is, is liberal poop organic? Is it organic poop? Yes, it's very. It's very um it's very environmentally friendly, friendly. way of <laughs> All right, all right, hold on, hold on. Boss Hog had a good question. What does BDU do again? Uh we progressively procrastinate state of art markets. What? <laughs> oh hi, what the hell are you talking about, yeah. son? <laughs> yeah. DM Racer321 says you can't say modify on YouTube. I know. Better be careful. <laughs> yeah, modificate. <laughs> we gotta come up. We've, we've got to be like uh, like gangsters in the hood and say, uh, "What is it? You can't mizzle your your jizzle, your jizzle, or whatever. Yeah. You can't mizzle your jizzle, for sizzle." <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! I can't. You know, it's just unbelievable. Need a red dot, a compensator, and yeah, I'm sure telling fine. you, I'm telling you, Walter. You can. Are you gonna see and see those, or are you making them out of wood? Well, you can uh, see and see them out of wood too, yeah. No, I, this would have to be no. This would be to be real. It needs to be made out of wood, and then I could have the spring vent. The spring is the easy part. Yeah, um, I could have that done. Just um, hold that up. Let's get a closer look at it. Closer look. And what is? Where did you get this one from? My grandfather. Okay, so this is old. Yeah, this thing. This is at least two thousand years old. If it came from. <laughs> it came from the for pyramids. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Alien technology, by yeah, the way. The Egyptians, the Egyptians yeah. invented this. Like an Egyptian. <laughs> um, oh, you see. Speaking of that, you see, they found a um, um, it, when they're doing an excavation, they came across this Sphinx on this in this area, and it's really cool looking. If you, it's on the news, oh. it was in the news. Yeah. Um, the one that I saw, something I saw that was in the news, is really cool. Let me see. I'm gonna try to bring it up. They found a uh, pre. They found what was it? Um, Ice Age, I'm looking it up right now. Ice Age Wolf. Up. Did you see that? No. I say yeah. Wolf what? Hold on. I'm going to pull Hold on. Let me pull it up here and I'll and I'll send you the story so everyone can read it. I thought that was something interesting I saw in the news. So here you guys can check this out right now. This is actually very very interesting. Let me put it here in the chat for everyone. Cuz you know, who doesn't love puppies? So check out this yeah, they found a mummified, so this is from the USA Today, but you can find it in lots of places. Oh, they found a mummified Ice Age wolf pup and a caribou still covered with fur found by gold miners. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, these were believed to have walked over 50,000 years ago and were discovered cool. with tissue and fur intact. Awesome. Uh, a remarkable find Canadian authorities say. So I think it was some Canadian... Uh, That's some DNA stuff there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The caribou was found at the site of an 80,000-year-old volcanic ash bed, and officials believe it's amongst the oldest mummified mammal tissue in the world. Um, oh. The uh, head and two front limbs and torso of the caribou were intact. The wolf pup was found with a complete body. That's oh, I see that. That yeah. is cool. Yeah. It's so got it looks like a pup. It's oh, yeah. Look yeah. At that. That's amazing. Yeah, that's cool stuff. You know, um wow. A wolf pup yeah. with brown fur. That's interesting. I didn't know the wolves had the brown fur. So, uh what, what fur would they have? Huh? What color fur would they have? Uh, I, I don't know. I figured wolves would be gray, Just black mean fur, black. <laughs> yeah. But I guess, you know, I mean, going back 50,000 years ago, <laughs> they look pretty much like my dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, maybe. I mean, that's that's where the that's where our dogs are descended from, right? That's what they say, yeah. Yeah, yeah Rafael Morales says wolf jerky. <laughs> <laughs> there was, you know, there's a there was rumor that the one of the groups that discovered a mammoth cut a piece off and ate it, cooked it and ate it to see what it tasted like, but mm. unfortunately, it's not true. Oh, okay. I would have loved to try uh, mammoth jerky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll just take one of those like 10 foot long ivory tusks. <laughs> that's all I want. Some ivory tusks, that's all. That's, le tusk. that's legal ivory. It is? Yeah. Okay. 100% legal, yes. That's why it's so... Um, out there in Siberia, where they where they hunt that stuff, it's 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 a very cutthroat, um, kind of like mining gold. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, big market for it. So I'm guessing that they're bringing the. Um, we were talking about the whole Kavanaugh thing. Yeah. So they're bringing that accuser up to Congress. 
Good. She needs to answer before Congress yeah. publicly. So yes, not in a secret little room where they can they can make up stories and all that yep. stuff. Yeah. No. There's no there's no excuse for her to not answer publicly. There's no national security issues. Did you? Oh, oh! Speaking of that, you hear they're going to release unredacted stuff, all this investigative stuff, like fifty thousand oh. pages of, of it. Which which investigation? From, from all this Russian investigation stuff. Oh. Yeah, it's the um, it's what they were using to to, to get, get the, the FISA warrant, right? Oh yeah, to get the FISA warrants. This is mm -hmm. going to show all these people lied big yep. time, and this goes yep. all the way back to the White House. By yes. The way, too. So what do you think is the likelihood of the traditional um, news media covering that? Um, it'll all be lies. <laughs> yeah. John Dieter says, so now Ginsburg knows what happened to her puppy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that one is right on the edge. Oh, right man. Edge. That is funny, though. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Brick says, I bet they're trying to replicate them with DNA. Oh, my goodness. Going to replicate a 50,000-year-old wolf? It's going to be on. It's going to be uh, on like don't I mean, you know, they were talking about doing the mammoth thing, which they're working on that. With the, but do you understand? It, it, oh, yeah, you just take it, you just make it, and just, boom, you got a, a mammoth. Doesn't work like that. It take it take 100 years to make that mammoth because mm -hmm. you got to breed and breed and breed and breed and because it's always going to be partially elephant. Right. It'll never be 100% mammoth. And, yeah. Yeah, it's not as easy as it sounds, but mm -hmm. um, it ain't Jurassic Park, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're not quite there, but we're getting close. We're getting close. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're um, getting close. So did you see this article that I just put up there? That's about um, our probably, I'm going to say this facetiously, least favorite person. So apparently, yeah, according to um, UK paper, Bloomberg to run for president. <laughs> oh, gosh. I, got, I have one person more please. disliked than him, for sure. Please yeah. do, Michael Bloomberg. Yeah, a UK pa paper is reporting that Michael Bloomberg, former mayor of New York and billionaire, owner of Business News Network, is planning to run as a Democrat in the 2020 presidential please. election. Please do. Yeah. Go ahead, go for it. Shake it up, shake it up a yeah, little. Yeah, yeah. Let's see how badass you are. Let's maybe you can run it like Hillary did, where you never answer a question from anybody. You just uh, all your all your uh, meetings and news conferences are all pre-planned, and everybody in there is all picked out ahead of time. And the questions are all pre uh, pre-arranged. Gun control says Bloomberg Soros 2020. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Two rich old fuckers. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that could I'm be the campaign pretty... thing. Two rich old fuckers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you'll see uh, Hillary running again. No, she won't. I don't think they're that stupid. I don't know. I, I, I got news for you. I got news for you, my friend. When all this I stuff comes, these papers that are coming them. out and all this stuff coming out, I don't think so. When the when the when the facts really come out, no. Mm -hmm. She could be. <laughs> she's got stuff that's like treason. Dan Davis says King Cuomo plans to run. I don't understand what platform they're going to run on. They Cuomo is, what is he, governor or is he the mayor of? Uh, he can uh, run on USA sucks. How yeah, about that. Yeah, he in charge of like the worst parts of the country. Yeah, that'd be like the uh, what's his face, the mayor of. Uh, yeah, the America uh, was never great. Rob, Rahm Emanuel running for president. Yeah, that's you, the one. Rahm Emanuel. You can't, you can't months, run yeah. Chicago. How the hell are you going to run the United States? Fucking loser. yeah. You know, um, right, so don't hey, believe the, about this? Yeah, don't believe that these guys won't try to run, man. Yeah, bring you on. Know, they think a lot of these people think, oh, if Trump can do it, people uh, always have that yeah, idea, yeah, right? Yeah. They always say, like, oh, if that idiot could do yeah. it, I could do it. Bring on Canilla, Canilla, Canilla it, Harris or whatever that that woman in Congress. Bring her on, that big lying bitch. Bring her on. <laughs> her and Hillary, they can run together. I don't care how black she is. Yeah. So um, <laughs> okay, so I just posted this article about the the bullpup. And I think all of this stuff oh. is coming out, by the way, because there's a bullpup uh, something or other going on in Illinois. I don't go to that I one. That, I thought that happened already. Did it? I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it happened over this yeah. weekend. Manicor Arm puts that on. Yes, Manicor Arms puts it on. And Sven, uh, who's the owner, Sven Johnson. You got to say it you know, like that, Sven Johnson. Sven Johnson? Yeah. <laughs> he is the owner of Manticore Arms, inventor, and all that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. uh, it says, uh, posted up a teaser image of this latest project 
Sven is a bullpup fanatic and, in fact, is hosting his own bullpup event this weekend. That's so, up at the site. So there, he said they're going to unveil the CZ Bullpup Scorpion chassis. So there you go. It's a chassis. More plastic. The Scorpion. More plastic. Um, <laughs> so it looks like you – and there's a More bunch plastic. of pictures here. Different versions of it, it looks like. Interesting, interesting. Come on, Walter. When are we gonna build when are we gonna build a fifty? Bullpup? Bullpup, yeah. Come oh, on. No, thank you. No, thank no, you. No. no. Okay. What caliber bullpup would you build if you built a bullpup? Just a regular old nine millimeter. Nine millimeter bullpup? Okay. Yeah. Yep. So the nine millimeter Hank when with, his... with, with a real common magazine and no plastic. Okay. What magazine would you use? <laughs> um I don't like uh, it, it, the you Glock don't like mag, the Glock, do you? The Glock mag doesn't fit the design. So what so are you thinking the uh Colt then? Like a Colt, Colt style magazine or an Uzi mag. Uzi mags are, are very, those cheap? Yeah, yeah, they're around in there. Yeah, yes they are. Yeah. Hmm. Is yeah. there a way to do a bullpup with two magazines that can switch off of which magazine it's feeding from? Why are you laughing, Walter? <laughs> Something that was going to be so simple now it's turned into a cluster. Here, why don't I just use this magazine, the P the P ninety mag? It's just I like it. I like it. I'm not against P ninety mags at all. Yeah, I mean these are dirt cheap now too. Thanks. Yeah, to I'm not against the round, and then you don't have to have anything. Um, okay, so what movie was I looking at? Um, there was some movie I was looking at, and these guys had these uh, like briefcase guns that you throw yes. it down like that. And it, what is that gun called? Does anyone know? I was looking in what movie was well, that? There's H some H movie on Netflix that the uh, HK a had a, a briefcase gun for the mm -hmm. MP5K in a, in a briefcase. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder. Uh, I wonder. Let me see if that's what it was. Uh, MP5K. I couldn't. Let me see. MP5K briefcase. You know, actually, if I was going to do a nine millimeter carbine, I wouldn't mess with a bullpup. Let's just keep it no. simple. And no, I, I don't oh, know. That's I, not what I saw. These things were smaller than that. They were more compact. Um, I'm trying to think of the movie I saw it in. Um, oh, game over. Lola's on your side. Oh my God, Hank! Enough with the bull pups. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lola. Thank you. Um, Lola is not the boss of me when it comes to guns. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like how you have to preface that. Or <laughs> yes, it's not. Okay. When it comes okay. To hold on. I'm gonna send you guys a link to this, and you tell me what gun this is. I'm gonna put it for you all, for the two of you. In here, and then I'm gonna put it in the chat. So let me see if people can tell you know me what, what the heck oh, this gun the, um, is. I'm, tr I'm trying to figure out what it is. Nobody wants. To, oh, let me take it's it. It's the Magpul. Uh, uh, it's not a bullpup. It's the Magpul folding gun. Oh, okay. Yeah, that they threatened to do. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Where? Did... Yeah, yeah. That's cool. That thing folds. That thing. I saw it at Shot Show when you just flick it down Mag like that and oh, and it yeah, opens. Magpul FMG9 is what it is. The the FMG9. Somebody, and I'm just going to throw this out there, I wanted to do what they did. Um, they bought the – there was a company that made an Airsoft S FMG9, okay. stripped it out completely, milled what they had to mill, and then dropped a Glock 17 into it, SBR'd it, and oh, made yeah. an FMG9. Yeah. Um, these in this movie were probably Airsoft then because you're saying these are not out there? No, they never produced them. Oh, so then these, so whatever was in this movie is probably airsoft because that's what they do. In probably, the yeah. Okay. Um, you want bullpup? I got yes. it. Oh, God. About to lock it on Walter. Yes. Bullpups. Yes. What do these two companies have in common? The, the bizzle pizzle. That's what we'll call it, Walter. The bizzle pizzle. The, the shizzle. Yeah. The shizzle Here we pizzle. Go. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold uh, on. What, what do these? <laughs> You're going to pull that out? Where's mine? What do these companies have in common right here? <laughs> uh, they got bird's claws on their knives. <laughs> and that in your hand. Oh, well, that's yeah, that's a oh, rare oh, that's a, a rare. Yeah, it's a rare microtech. I'm right. sorry. Right. This is a microtech knife too. Look at this bad yep. boy. Now this is a knife. That's what I'm saying. This is a knife. <laughs> not a dog. Jafar a, H, not a dog. That's the Microtech MSAR. Yes. Correct. Bam. Correct. There you go. And bull pup. that is you guys speak of bull pups. Here we go. Pups. There's a bull pup right there. Hold on. I'm not done. Not done. Oh, good lord. Okay, here we go. Oh, dual wheeling. Dual. Dual wielding the bull pups. 
We're definitely Bill, we're on the microtechs. We're definitely in trouble now. You know, I don't actually own You're a bastard. bullet. Yeah, I know you are, you bastard. <laughs> I need to get. I want an X ninety five. You want a you want an X ninety five? Oh, okay. Yeah. Or the uh, or if I can get my hands on one of the um, Caltex uh, RDBs. Yeah, no, RDB. No, RDB. Yeah, the R. Uh, yeah, the RDB is mm -hmm. the new one. Um, we, um, someone saw someone saw those this weekend. I mean, I think they're they're they there. must be producing them right now because we got word that they're on distribution at the moment. Okay. So are they on Big Daddy Unlimited? No, I don't know if we. So we saw them on allocation. We got the option to get some, and I don't know if we did. So they may have gone from allocation to full distribution. Okay. Um, Simpson yeah. Road Larry wants to know: Are the Microtech knives as good as the Benchmade knives? I think so. Yeah. Um, from what I understand, the two, the Benchmade Auto and the Microtech Auto, are very similar. I just personally have always liked Microtech because I'm a, I don't know. There's something about a Microtech. It's like the original out the front. But. Uh, the Benchmades, the Infidel. Benchmade and you're infidel just a just little bit of a gear whore, just a little bit. <laughs> oh. I I expect to see Babyface P wearing that freaking Magpul gear. <laughs> 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 it's so annoying. Like at Shot Show and stuff like that, I go to Magpul to you know to see gun stuff, and the biggest thing that they're pushing is the clothing line, and just makes you want to leave. And yeah. that's what I do. Yeah, I just turn around and leave because they they aren't doing the things that we want them to do. Well, yeah. like a freaking Gen 2 AK-74 magazine. Never going to happen. Um, Brick says, I saw a Tavor for 1200 at the gun show this weekend. Uh, for how okay. much? 1200 a Tavor. That's a hell of a deal. Yeah. Um, by the way, we are going to do a 22 bullpup. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yes. We, yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean we're gonna do it? We're gonna we're gonna build one. Oh, okay. Uh, from a from a uh, from a Ruger ten twenty two. Oh, the parts you yeah. have. Okay, okay. Yeah, we are gonna do a bow. We're gonna do one of those. So let's see. Knives okay, are still so coming yes, out. Knives exactly are still about, coming yes. out. So, my, my yeah, early, so my since I get a question, uh, Microtex people think they're like crazy and can like pierce stuff. They can't. No. It just That's pops not. off the rails like that. Yeah. And then you, it's loose. And then you yeah. gotta, then you physically gotta make it pull lock. It back yeah. out, and it'll go back in. Yeah. yeah, And you can see, I don't think it even made a, it barely cut the the plastic on the bottle. So yes. that's not the purpose of it. No. You're better off yeah. with this guy if you want to poke a hole in something with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Formal course says Microtech will not warranty its automatic. Um, knife if you do not live in an automatic friendly state I unless you're law enforcement I don't know how that works I got both of these warranted. obviously we're auto we're an auto friendly state uh, but I got both these warranted about six months ago and um, it took like two weeks and I got them back it wasn't too bad but again we're Florida we have we're auto friendly so yeah I don't know yeah so and uh, since you guys are pulling out knives you got your you got your switchblade yet? Rat pot. No, I don't have one. I know. <laughs> I need to get one. There goes a knife for you right there. Not my knife. Not got my that. Knife. That's a knife. Coming up at you. Did you see that they're doing a new crocodile Dundee? Did you see that they're doing a new um? Oh, what was the movie with Burt Reynolds and Dom DeLuise? Cannonball Run. Yes, they're doing a new Cannonball Run. It's in the works. Really? It's oh, on. Really? I was reading about after he died, Burt Reynolds. I was reading on Wikipedia, and on the Wikipedia, there's a there says that the some of those people are working on a new. Uh, but no one, uh, no one invited me. I didn't hear. I wasn't. It wasn't a <laughs> cast. Yeah. Yeah. So what's up? What character, what character are you going to be? <laughs> Hank Strange. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to be Hank Strange up in there. <laughs> you're not going to be like the the Nigerian princess or so, prince or something or what? I mean, you're not going to be like. Like Jamie Farr was the uh, oh was the yeah. Middle Eastern sheik remember in the, in the old one? Yes, no, I remember that. I remember that. It had Jackie Chan. I could play the Jackie Chan role. Jackie Chan playing the a Japanese guy too, which <laughs> I know. Uh, they were driving a Mitsubishi a Subaru. Yes, a Subaru. No, it wasn't a Subaru. Subaru. It wasn't a Subaru. Which one? The first one or the second one? 
I'll let, I know about the one that's just Subaru. The black, the black hatchback. All I know is they had a rocket engine in it or a jet engine in it or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a Mitsubishi, but I could be wrong. Mm-hmm. Someone look that up. Someone look that up. So, by the way, I have another thing I'm going to open here. I got Uh-oh. this. I got this from my friend Josh Coburn, who is an author. Do you guys know who Josh Coburn is? Mm-hmm. So Josh, uh, he works at Brownells. So that's my oh, friend that has Josh. all the uh, cool tattoos and piercings and all that kind of stuff. He's an author, motivational guy. Uh, but, you know, sa- helps save a lot of people out there. Oh, I'm gonna have to open. The- I'm gonna have to get the knife for this because I don't want to hurt my my. I don't want to hurt my fingers and get a paper cut. I hurt your strange. Yeah, the strange must be reserved for later when I really need it. So I'm gonna cut this open here. And uh, open up the book. So he, his. Uh... Walter, you see they're making a special edition of that knife? This one here? So they, they have it on the Firearm blog right now, I believe. Oh. Oh, which knife? The, um... It's the Glock one, right? Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so it was the 40th anniversary. Yeah. Yep. This is not a Glock here. Yeah, oh, so that's, that's the Arlie. Glock. I thought that was a Glock. No, this the other one, the Arlie that's... Army, right? Is that the Arlie yeah, Army? That's the one that he signed for yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very cool, dude. Um, so check it out. Here we go. That's Josh's new book. We're gonna get him to come on here. I'm gonna read through the book and all that kind of stuff. Said. Yeah, shit that needs said. Josh Coburn, okay, Joshua cool. Coburn, right there. Cool. Man. So you guys have seen him. He was on the yep. uh, the uh, convoy across America with me. He's been here on the show. He works at Brownells. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read through the book. Uh, I just got it. Go through it. And I encourage you guys to check it out. But we'll re- I'll read through it. We'll have him come on. We'll talk about it at some point in the future. So uh, Chris Bullis says Josh is a cool dude. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yep. Yep. Uh, and let's see. Um, Brick says, who makes custom knife kydex knife sheaths for reasonable prices? And uh, mm. Boss Hog says, yes, it was a Mitsubishi. Uh, I... You know if Harry's Holster is those uh, knife sheaths? I don't know. We, we should ask him. I think it was a Mitsubishi. I could be wrong. I think it was a Mitsubishi Starion, but I could I, be wrong. Let me see. I thought for sure that one of them was the. Uh, I'm thinking the first one was a uh, Subaru. Like that might have been the. I know I recently looked at the second one, so. Let me see. I'm going to look it up right now. Cannonball run. Uh, yeah, Mitsubishi Starion. So it was th- this right here. Boom, Mitsubishi. That that Mitsubishi right there, Mitsubishi Starion. Do you, don't you remember? When, well, no. What was the one that we saw when we went to the SEMA show? That the guy had like fifteen hundred oh, horsepower in it. Remember that, Walter? Uh, um, Hang on a second. See, now wait a minute. Okay. See, now I'm seeing a Subaru. Maybe that's Cannonball 1. Well, what, what are you thinking? I was talking about 2. Oh, I think that's what I said. It's probably the first one. Cannonball 1. Yeah, the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 1500 horsepower Subaru or, no, or Mitsubishi? No, no, no. Oh, Mis- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The racing guy. It was a racing yeah. car. Yeah. Remember, it was a, re- was, that a Mi- was that a Mitsubishi as well? I think was it was, yeah. Yeah, yes. wasn't that a Starion or something? Uh, could have been, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because I remember that in the '80s, man. In the '80s, that was that was around. a cool car. Yeah. I knew somebody that had one. It was like a turbo Mitsubishi Starion turbo. Mm-hmm. That was like a, that was a cool, cool ride. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Simpson Road Larry says, "I think someone, I think Alien Gear sells some knife sheaths." So, um, and then Jafari H says, looks like a retarded firebird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Yeah. That's all right. So, oh, Brick says Mitsubishi Conquest. The Conquest? The Conquest, yes. I think that's uh, um, the Mitsubishi Contest Conquest was one of those badass. Uh, Looking for a gun. Believe it or Mitsubishi not. Conquest, I think, is what that guy had. Let's see. I found it. Conquest. I got this old holster. Speaking of holsters, you weren't talking about holsters. Okay, yeah, that probably was it. 
my uncle, who's no longer with the living, um, was kind of a scrounger of thrift shops and stuff. And he got this old holster. It looks like a 1911 holster. Mm -hmm. And it's it's old. You know, it's crunchy. and But it says U.S. on the front. Barely. You can barely see it. But I never tried to put a 1911 in it. So. Probably will fit. Let's see, let's see. If, it, if it goes in there. Let's see. Will it fit? Look at that. Yeah, that's not bad. Wow. You need a little yeah. uh, leather conditioner for it. Yeah, yeah I got to put could... some, uh, some, what do you call it on? Some. Uh... Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look so bad that it can't be brought back to life, to be honest yeah. with you, the leather um, from that. I mean, give us a close look at it. Let me see. Like, cold so to the... the latch thing here is like really stretched out of shape. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah I mean, you can stitch that back up and make it work. You think so? I mean, just put a piece of leather over it. This yeah, thing probably needs to like, be so. I was thinking put some ballastol on it, but. Um, maybe Sam Andrews might know who some some good stuff to put on leather. I think. Um, honestly, Sam is going to see that and just say make a new one. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, but you can't. But you he can't. does know. He does know good stuff to put on leather and bring it back. But um, you can't you can't reproduce history. You know no, what? That's true. Well, that's do you know what I did? Um, I had a, a piece of leather that needed conditioning, uh, and I I actually took it to a shoe like a, a cobbler, and he. Sold me some leather conditioner that I rubbed into it, and it, it worked really well. Yeah. Yeah, this I condition my leather at least once a week. <laughs> <laughs> you got calluses on your hands? <laughs> Not with the conditioner I use. That's the Mitsubishi Starion right there. Yes. So they, yeah, they're badass yeah. cars, man. I'll tell you. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're going to be one of those cards in the. In the they're already starting to become collectible, actually. So yeah, cars from the '80s are already hitting yeah. that um, from late '70s, uh, early '80s. Yeah, so I gotta. I need to first when I, when I got this holster, I was like, "Oh, what a piece of shit!" But the more I look at it, the more it's like. This so is that just what did that say on it? USA. Well, it just says US on the front right there. Yeah. US. Okay, but it doesn't have any other markings. No kind of. Not uh, that I mark. can see. Um. Because the thing is, is like, when was that, you know, was that used? I mean, this could be World War One. This could be World War Two. It'd have to have somebody that knows their holsters and about the rivets. It's got brass rivets and all that stuff. So I'm, mm -hmm. not, I'm not that familiar with the the construction of the holsters. Mm -hmm. But, but, um, uh, Armin Naxa says, please tell Walter Neat's foot oil. Neat's foot? Yes. I think that, I think of that sounds familiar. I think I've heard Sam say that before. Never heard of it. Neat's video. Yeah, Neat's I photo. think I've heard him say that. Yeah, I'll have to get some. Yeah, I can go on the interwebs probably and get it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I need to. I need to bring it back to life just because my uncle. I guess my uncle. So, I bet um, you just boil it in a pot or something like that. For we're not going to eat it. We're not going to try to eat it or something. <laughs> we're, we're, not, we're not in a prisoner of war camp or we're eating our leather or something. You got to eat your shoes. <laughs> No, come on, we're not in the camp, you know, okay? RTS guy says oil of ole. <laughs> oil of old age? Oil of ole. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so I won't even ask you. I mean, I, over the weekend, I, I, Peggy already told me not to bring it up. But, oh, on yeah. Sunday yesterday, I got stung by a wasp on the back of my leg. Okay. And the bottom of my calf on one side is like all swollen up. So. Uh -huh. You know, it's like you got I bitten to... in the wrong place. I'll tell you that. <laughs> you wouldn't want to get bitten there by a wasp. <laughs> um, KS Harris says uh, Walter looks uh, buff. Is he taking HGH? <laughs> Walter looks white. Walter uh, looks... No, no, no HGH. HGH. No, that's called suffocation. <laughs> yeah. I think I actually have uh, Armin X says there's a brand name conditioner called Lexol that works well. I think I, that's actually what I have downstairs. It's oh really? It's the same stuff. There's um, what is the one that people use on convertible tops? I think I have some of that. You know that there's one that they use in convertible tops for cars. Oh really? Maybe face. Oh. You ever saw that one? Conditioner for it? Yeah. Um. Oh, what is that? There, there's one that you can use on the convertible tops for cars that I think I've used it before. I think when I had the S2000 or something like that. I'm not and uh, I mean, you know, since that like since that gets a lot of uh, gets beaten up and stuff. Oh yeah, rain, so sun, etc. S man, seventy two. All right, now now Armament's got me curious. I'm gonna run downstairs and see what I have. All right. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, so someone says soak it with Neat's foot oil. Um, let's see. Yeah, it, it Griot's needs... leather care, someone says. Saddle soap, gun oil, uh, pig fat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, um, the stuff that I, that I mentioned before. Um, oh, God, I'm sorry. I can't remember. Um, it's, uh, I'll think of it in a minute here. Yeah. Anyway. Simpson Road Larry said, Neat's foot oil for Walter and KY Jelly for Hank. <laughs> <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> and someone says tallow or veal. Someone else says Wesson. Like Wesson, like Smith and Wesson or like Wesson oil? Yeah. Like, uh, uh, no, what are they talking about? The What is that um, that Wesson thing that everyone was cooking with before? Um, um, that they used to make. Someone made it into like a gun lube. Remember those guys? Isn't that what was in, uh, in uh, frog lube? Uh, coconut oil? Was that coconut oil? That's what I heard was in that, but I, you know, don't don't quote me. Or was it lard? Uh, I thought I heard it was like coconut oil or something. Yeah, lard. Um, I think it was lard. Linseed oil. oil. Wesson, oil. Wesson, Wesson oil. oil. Wesson oil. Yeah, Wesson oil. Which is far a clean. Oil. Yeah. Far clean. Give me some far clean. Far clean. Um, yeah. Um. So yeah, we'll figure something out. I gotta get it condition yeah there's a way to do it but you know be careful sometimes you try to um sometimes you try to clean those things up and you you yeah. you destroy whatever value uh was in it you know yeah it's pretty cracked right up here so mm -hmm. i need to get something in there to get some, some is it is okay but is the leather flaking no it's not flaking off but it's it's dry yeah. it's very dry so yeah so then that's how you know that's the good stuff it's okay What's, which what one got? is this Lexol Lexo. leather deep conditioner. Okay. Yeah, I went to a cobbler. The shoe guy told me use this, and it really worked well. Um, so you just soak it in it or something, or what? Yeah, you rub it on. It's like a white cream. Uh, okay. Rub it in deeply, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh. Man. Awesome. I went downstairs and I uh, I found a cool python. Look at that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Magically, <laughs> mysteriously. This happened into a python. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Egg whites. And, and the holster. Wait, is that that was a Kydex a holster you were showing it's us last one, week? Yeah, right? it's a new holster I got. And I've decided I'm going to carry this at work. I'm going to open carry this at the office. <laughs> it's a um. Uh, what's it That's called? Not Kydex. Safari Land. Yeah, Safari Land. Okay. Yeah, Safari Land holster. It's a suede line, so it's nice and soft on the inside. It fits nicely. Hubbard's boot grease will work. Yeah, this left is tears. Left is tears. I don't know. I... Oh, left his tears. How do you eat? They call them chitterlings, but then that just in that chitlins. Chitlins. Are they, is that how that's spelled? No. Chit not cheddar. Chitlins. Oh, that is how it's spelled. It is. Chitlins. Wow. Chitlins. I've only known them as chitlins, so I didn't think that's how that was spelled. Why they? That's intestines, isn't it? Chitlins. Yeah. yeah, I've never oh, so had yeah, that. Chitlins yeah. is another name for chitterlings, but we I, call it that's all the parts that they eat when you can't afford the premium parts. Yep, I um, would rather just die. <laughs> 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 just die of starvation. I don't know if I'd rather die, but um, yeah. Um, so here, so someone um sent you this. Baby face. This Lexo. is the picture. Of Lexo. There you go. Yeah, the old school can. That's uh, yeah. Chris sent that. Yeah, uh, uh, Walter. I'll be down in in your area this weekend. I can deliver uh, some Lexol to you. M one A. Yeah, let's do that. I'll bring some Lexol and an M one A. How about and that? We can we can do some paperwork. Let's do that this weekend. Oh, oh, what day? Saturday. Saturday's that shoot. Sunday. Yeah. Saturday, you can meet us in Leesburg. What time? Because um, I'm teaching. I'm teaching a class Saturday morning. Oh, oh um, that's right. Yeah, you said that. Yeah, yeah. What can time? We make, can we make this FMG nine? Yeah, I want to actually. If you can get one of your hands on one of the, uh, just put a link up in there. Can we make FMG. this FMG nine? Yeah, we're not. We're not going to make it here on the show. We're just having a discussion. You talking about a sub gun? Yeah, it would be I just VR. Yeah, I just put the link. I just put the link up there. If oh, you do oh, uh, oh, FMG9 homemade, there's a guy that did it on AR15.com. He made his own, and that's it. 
How with the you... skill set that Walter and I have, I don't think it'd be too difficult. I think it's possible. Um, this thing here, I know the grip folds also, doesn't it? Here you go. Hey, I'm going to throw this in chat. The, it's called the, uh, the, the, the uh, Airsoft version is called the FPG-9. If you can find one of those FPG-9 guns, Airsoft guns, uh, we can work some magic. Yeah, I wouldn't do that, Babyface, because that would not be... I bet I can... Prudent find, at this I bet, I, I bet I can find one of those. It might have to come from China or Hong Kong. Yeah, exactly. But I ordered one of those AK um, grenade launcher Airsoft ones and it came from came overseas no problem so okay um i found that was the easiest way to found find some of these oddball airsoft guns oh you just order them right from right from the source so um no that's cool yeah i like the way like i think you just drop it down like that and it just folds just up yeah. flick it yeah you flick it the receiver kind of looks like an a Mac, an M11 9 receiver, actually, the way I'm looking at it here, but I'm what I'm seeing. But, um, the way it's got that angle. Oh, God, Candace Harris. Chitlin's beef lizard, beef lizards. Beef, beef liver, liver and chicken gizzards are the caviar of the South. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, sir, my friend. No. Uh, you don't like liver either, Walter? I've had it. My mom used to make it every once in a while as when we were kids. Yeah. Fried uh, liver is okay, but pretty much anything fried is. Not once terrible. I figured out what the liver is, no, I didn't want any more. It's a blood filter. I didn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Vittles. Somebody says Vittles. Vittles, yeah. Yeah. You need some uh, some need some collards and uh, and some all that good stuff, yeah. I don't eat that uh, stuff either. But and Archangel says Brownells is sent, uh, selling a 35 millimeter launcher. Yep, they have their own now. It's really cool. 37, but, 37 millimeter launcher, you mean? 30, I think, yeah, 37. 37 is the common size, okay. Um, um, I won't say what I want to do, but that's not what I want to do. So. I I will say what I want to do. I'm uh, not going to say it out loud because somebody will fucking copy me or something. Okay, I'm not going to say that then. I want to get a um either one of the Colts or the LMTs and form for it as a destructive device. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I mean that's that's easy to do actually. Yeah. They're just expensive. They're like twenty five hundred bucks for the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. I really want an M seventy nine. Probably about, uh, the, 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 what China Lake, the folding. No, the the old school Vietnam vintage M seventy nine. Yeah, M seventy nine. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you can get those in actually. Um, let me, on, come on, let me turn it. Why was it called so the see. China Lake grenade launcher? China Lake. No, the China Lake's the pump action. You want the break action. Oh, the pump action. Yeah, yeah. I've seen those pump action guns. They're pretty cool. Yeah, you want the break action. Yeah, yeah. Just keep it simple. <clears throat> do you you don't have any of the licensing for DD stuff, do you? Say that again. You don't have any of the licensing for destructive device stuff. No, no. But um, supposedly, as a as a manufacturer, they'll let you have one a year. Oh, that's cool. Because my Lottie is a DD. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can get by with one a year. So um, um, yeah, yeah. Um, that's cool stuff. I. You can do the M seventy nine style blooper if you get a um, do it thirty seven millimeter mm -hmm. shoot with, uh, gas grenades or whatever with no rifling and the you know thing or whatever and that's that's a cool another yeah. alternative you know to pay the pay the two hundred dollar DD part. Um, I carry my revolver in single action. Wants to know are black eyed peas actually peas or beans? <laughs> <laughs> Probably oh, legumes. That's a good Probably question. legumes. Legumes? Uh, Legumes. No. Rick says yeah. peas, but hey, I think you, they're beans. Huh? Did you click that link you just sent? Yeah. That man's got some crazy eyes. Yeah. Oh, wait a second here. So so up. this is here. I'll put in the news. Um CEO of Ruger? Ruger? Yeah, the former CEO of Ruger passed away. This isn't Bill Ruger, like the no. Bill Ruger. No, 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 no this no, is no, his no. son. Yeah. Bill, w William B. Ruger Jr. Okay. Uh, passed well, away. So it says former CEO of Storm Ruger and Company William B. Ruger That's Jr. Enough. has passed away at the weekend. Is this guy British? Who wrote this? At the weekend. Matthew Moss. Yeah, it must be someone who's British. It says passed away at the weekend, age 79. William, William Jr. took over leadership of the company from his father, William B. Ruger Sr., the founder in 2000. So he, so was, he was one of the ones that brought it out of the dark ages, I'm guessing. 
Yeah, um, probably started the turnaround, right? I mean, Walter's the only one who's been around here for a hundred years. So, Walter, you tell us. Hang on, let me see your face again. Hang on a second. <laughs> I say this to you. <laughs> um, let me say this: Bill Ruger was a capitulist. He capitulated on the high capacity. The senior? Magazine. Are we talking senior, about senior? Yeah, senior, senior. senior. Yeah. Okay. He. he you know, he had no problem selling at law enforcement high capacity magazines, but he wouldn't sell you a high capacity magazine. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, he was one of those one of those kind of guys, and he also kept Ruger in kind of the Stone Ages. Mm -hmm. um, you mm -hmm. know, not not doing anything high capacity banana clip style ten twenty two magazine. When I saw that, I about passed out. Yeah, I mean, so that was from Junior. Well, that's that's the yeah. the newer Ruger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. BX twenty fives were thanks to Junior, not Senior. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. um, senior, I basically, senior thought if you couldn't hunt with it, it had no place in civilized society. So and, he was he was a fud. Oh, total fud. And he was, you know, you don't need a high, you don't you don't need a high capacity. The popo needs a high capacity magazine, yeah. but you don't need one. Mm -hmm. He was he helped in the ninety four assault weapons ban, didn't he? He was one of those ones that just kind of went along with things. Yeah, he didn't fight it. Didn't want to rock the boat. <laughs> No. Whose eyes are crazier, this guy or Cory Booker? <laughs> uh, because of the, the, the look in his eyes, the look of intensity. Oh, that's what that is? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know what that looks like? He looks like that socialist chick. Yes. Yeah, he's got uh, those same crazy eyes. Yeah. Those which ones. one? Which one are we talking about? Uh, oh, Cortez. Cortez. Casio? Yeah, someone said that in the chat. <laughs> Who said Ooh. that? Every the time chat? I see her, I, I, for some reason I... Jafari H said that in the chat. Well, I'm not going to say what. Real I did, quick, did you guys see her photo shoot with her like four thousand oh, dollars? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No, Typical. tell tell us about this. She did a photo shoot for some magazine, I think, and somebody went on Twitter and posted links to the whole entire outfit she wore, and it was like thirty two hundred dollars worth of clothing. She oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh so, nice. So again, uh, capitalism works great when you're on top of it, but oh. socialism is. What she still wants to push. Uh, I'm not even going to say what works great when you're on top of. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, uh, uh, because... I, so I guess her closet is like open to everyone. Uh, well, <laughs> let, me, let me let me just ask, <laughs> let me ask let me ask a question that I ask about everyone. Mm -hmm. What did she do for money? Nothing. Where, well, well, no, wait, no, 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 no. Everybody does whatever for whatever money. the uh, Democratic Party tells her. That's what she does for money. <laughs> um. Yeah. I don't. I don't get that whole thing. Like, um, but anyways, back to Ruger. Yes. So, um, a, a lot of the gun companies really, they, they were all run, they still are run by FUDs, but, but you know, the, the day that I saw a high capacity AR mag attached to a bolt action rifle, I about passed out at shot show. Cause I, I, cause I never, I never thought I'd see the day where they would embrace the high capacity magazine. And I can't remember which manufacturer that was. It might've been Remington, whoever did that first on one of their bolt guns. Um, okay, so but can we say that from him turning it around, that's why Ruger is still like a household name, basically uh, at this point. I'd say probably still, because still, of him, yeah. yeah, it doesn't hurt anything. I mean, you know, they you, you got to kind of look at the ten twenty two. You know, um, the ten twenty two is like one of those mainstays of the firearms business. Where it's yep. Where it's yeah, five, I've got two. I've got two lowers right here. Five jillion accessories and 20, mm -hmm. 20 different, 30, 40 different companies building parts for them. And yeah, yeah so that's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Babyface has a. Or the, or the, or the Ruger Mark One and the Ruger Mark Two. Those. Yeah. And the, 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 the 45 framed Ruger, which is, that's a, that was a pretty bold step for a company like that. Is this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know what I think is interesting? The fact that they cold stole <laughs> the oh. uh, the LC the yes. uh, LCP well, yeah. from from, uh, from Caltech and then and then improved it and came out with the LCP well, Mark II. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's pretty ballsy, you know, in the gun business. Um, but everybody gets accused of doing it. Um, trust me, yeah. I've heard yeah. it. Um, well, I mean, I know Caltech was really pissed off about that. The interesting thing to me is they never improved their P3AT, right? You so, know, but Ruger they're, improved they're, the LCP, and and people love it. They're pretty. They're pretty much uh, Caltech's pretty much glocking it. You know, it's, yeah, it, the the, uh, the Ruger version's just better. 
<laughs> yeah, I think that Caltech is just printing money with the old uh, handguns. Yeah. So they're not planning on upgrading any of those anytime soon. The newest yeah. one you got is the, the the PMR. Yeah, pretty much. You know, but they're just like, uh, you know. I will say if pushing those if out, they ever came out with a, even if it was only for like display use only, if they ever came out with a full auto CMR, that would be pretty cool. Okay. I'm pretty sure they have one. Do Red they in, at like a company one or something? I yeah, one. I didn't shoot it. You saw one? Did you see one, Walter? No, no. I'm, I'm, no go ahead. I'm, I'm. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, no. I, I mean, they have a bunch of stuff like that. Um, yeah. That's full auto, but super cool. Yeah. So, you know, um, Red Red Bear, who's somebody I know, it's in the chat. Um, <laughs> I see Cortez. When I see Cortez, I start hearing Hill. Hill Gila rotors. <laughs> yeah. And that, Red Bear? Do the rest of us know Red Bear? You do. Okay. Um, it's, it's his new it's his new identity. Um, oh. Okay. But um, the Gila rotor thing is from um, uh, one of the dictators in South oh. America. Does his he, name begin with Sha and end with On? No. <laughs> oh, okay. But the, one of these dictators, I think it was Pinochet, would pick up the socialist or the communist. Penis what? Pinochet. <laughs> Pinochet. Okay. Yeah. When they, when they <laughs> caught when they caught the bad guys, that military come in and pick them up with the helicopter, mm -hmm. take, them, take them up to altitude and kick them out. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> As an example, yep. to, other, to others, not to follow that. So that's yep. what he sees with the uh, with them. Um, oh, I see. I get it. There's some, okay. funny, there's some funny meme shirts out there of uh, like Antifa one way rides for Antifa, like helicopter <laughs> rides for Antifa, shit like that. <laughs> I always, you know, after nine eleven, I said these guys that want to learn how to fly. I'd be more than willing to give them flying lessons. <laughs> and I was Rick, I, go up, in the, up in the plane and out over the Atlantic. Yeah. <laughs> right Rick, Rick says penis shaved and wolf <laughs> penis, <laughs> penis snail. Penis <laughs> wolf stone. Oh, God, now we're going off. Save, off. save yeah. that. Save is that. It, for is some... it Pinochet or, or is it penis shay or Pinochet? Pinochet, probably. But save yeah. that for Rod Mills, okay? <laughs> save the penis joke for Rod. The penis shell. <laughs> yeah, that's all, Rod. That's all. Don't expend uh, Moobut your... says Moobut says penis shade. Penis <laughs> shade, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Red Bear. Right wing Gila squad. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyways. Pinochet. 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 Yeah. 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 Um, Pinocchio. Oh, no, Pinochet. Yeah, Pinochet. Yeah. Pinocchio. Len Holt says Pinocchio. I got, got it. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to stay out of trouble here. Augusto Pinochet. Yeah, I think it was in, uh, was he in charge of Peru or Chile or Chile? I don't know, one of those, one of those places. Um, got to go back in history for that one. Yeah, you can totally, uh, you can totally, totally Wikipedia. Chile, yeah. Chile. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um, President of Chile. That's back in the days when they when the news came on. They actually told you what was going on in the world, not just huh. what was going on in the bathroom at Target. Um, <laughs> for reals, for reals, those are the good old days. <laughs> They're gone. Yeah. Well, that's when the, that's when the, that's what they say. Like CBS and NBC and these different and the Associated Press actually <laughs> had bureaus in these countries before the interweb, and you know it, it was like people on the ground reporting the news, not not. You know something else. But. Yeah. Oh, you know what? We didn't. Um, we didn't. We never picked who uh, got those things from Instagram. Oh, go yeah. for it. Pick it yeah. Pick Let's it. do that. Let's do that real quick. Let's see who went over to Instagram and uh, put in the hashtag. Uh... Meantime, back at so the let's ranch. see. Um, look at that stuff. So let's see what we got. Who we got in here? Um, it's done. Okay, I see a bunch of I see a bunch of good ones in here. They're all good ones, all good ones in here. Oh, good. So let's see, let's see. I'm gonna just quickly. Uh, I'm gonna quickly just choose these from random. I'm gonna say Richard Thurman photo. You get one. You just gotta hit us up on. Uh, Hank Strange TV. So, there we go. 
Uh, all right, so. All right, and let me see who else am I going to choose in here? Because we're going to do three of these. So, um, American Victory, you also get one. Let's see here. Man, that 308 Brent really needs a better look stock on them. Let me see who else. One more person. We got to choose one more comment in here. Um, Okay, M M P Ron seventy six. You get one. So hit us up on Hank Strange TV. There you go. Very cool. All right, so there we go. Thanks for everyone for doing that. Actually, thanks to Franklin Armory for sponsoring the podcast specifically. We appreciate that. It's over the two. It's over the nine o'clock hour. I was going to say two o'clock hour. <laughs> so uh, you know, you guys want to wrap this up? Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, Sean. Is he in? <laughs> yeah. Can I call you back in a minute. Okay. <laughs> this, this the, shizzle, the shizzle for sizzle. Let's just all stare at Walter. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at That's Walter. Okay. Babyface, what's going on oh, with my you? Other man? Oh, other okay. I gotta, I gotta do a quick, uh, a quick shout. If you own a twenty two forty five and you watch my video about the cane wolf, do not buy it. I still have yet to get it working. I'm not satisfied with it. I will. If Wait, I ever is that get one of the, is that one of the which accessory is that? That's the uh, the auto bolt release on the twenty two forty five. I Ooh. switched. I have now switched back to the original bolt release. Okay. Because I cannot get that one working, and I have screwed with it for probably three or four hours. Mm -hmm. um, do not recommend the Cane Wolf. If I can get my hands on a quartz in, I'm going to try it, but uh, I got to try to get one. Okay. Um, besides so did, that, is that in the review? I I put a disclaimer in the uh, in the video. So okay. we'll, we'll talk about it when we do our when we when we do the video. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, besides that, BDU, go sign up. It's a dollar for your first month, and I don't know what deals we have. We have something big coming out this week, and I don't remember what it is. I don't do the marketing, unfortunately, or right. fortunately. Well, hit us up when it comes out. When you have we'll that do. deal it comes out. Remember, BDU, so. we specialize in uh, interactively. Uh, we dis we interactively disseminate functionalized mindshare. <laughs> it's us. <laughs> all right and you can look in the in the uh in the description or hit me up on social media or something like that i'll send you a link okay walter what's going on with you uh, <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't got enough uh penis yet <laughs> that's right <laughs> that last that last little blurb of of, of language just left me boom <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's going on? Uh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? That's, it's, it's that exciting. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, got a shoot this weekend up at Aries. Aries yes, facility. Yes, for the kids. Yeah. For the children. Yes, bring a toy. Bring some canned food. It's all going to get donated to charity. Um, going to have military vehicles. Going to be shooting some guns. Um, just going to be a fun time. That's on Saturday. 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 What time are you getting up there? What? Um, I'll be up there early, but I think the shoot starts at oh at nine or ten, something like that. Okay. okay. All but, right. Um, yeah, come on down. How long? How long are you guys planning on staying? Oh dear. Um, I'll be there for a few hours. Yeah, I mean, I'll probably yeah. be there five ish, six ish, but. Okay, I might be able to make that then. Uh, my my CCW class is at nine a.m. in oh, Tampa, okay. so uh, if I head back. By lunchtime, I should be able to make it to you guys. On the back side of that trip. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's on the way home, too. Look at that, kind of. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, if, if, uh, there, there's another thing. If anybody in Tampa wants to take – if anybody knows anybody in Tampa and you want to take a CCW class, I'm putting one on 9 a.m. Saturday in Tampa. Find me on Facebook or talk to Hank. I doubt anybody out there. Well, I figured I'd throw it out anyways. There's, there's probably some people in Tampa that might do it. Okay, cool. So, Walter, you've got that going on. Yep. Uh, you got stocks. Yeah, making uh, making the CZ parts in the shop, making uh, making tail hook adapter rail parts for uh, the uh, SIG brace. If you've got a SIG brace and you want to ditch that plastic garbage on the back, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and use a tail hook instead, go all metal, and we're building those adapters. They'll be available soon. 
Um, what else going on? That's pretty much it right now. Yeah. All right. Very cool. Very cool. So everyone who won, um, you know, we, we're giving three of these away. And I mentioned those people on uh, Instagram. Please uh, get in touch with us through HankStrange.tv. You got to sign up with your email address there for everything that we give away. Uh, we appreciate everyone coming over here to Hank Strange uh, channel on YouTube. Our B channel is Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. If you're not subscribed to that, please go over there, subscribe and uh, ring the bell as well. Do the same thing here. We're going to probably have to do this for the next three months. We are fighting everything so that we can get back over to the regular home of the podcast. Hopefully that works out. I want to thank everyone that uh, sponsors the Hank Strange uh, situation in general, ATI Outdoors, Safety Harbor Firearms. There he goes. Andrew's Custom Leather. And of course, Fort Scott Munitions. Fort Scott. Thanks to all those guys. And, uh, you know, like I said, especially thank you to Franklin Armory for sponsoring the podcast in particular, you know, keeping the uh, the doors open here on the podcast. I think it's fun. Something for gun folks to do Monday to Friday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, it's a little after 9 p.m. We're out of here. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Stay free, people. Stay free. We're out of here. See ya. Peace. Peace.